attack him while you got him. I gotta say, of all 200, that's your best one. I was gonna say you nailed it, or should I say crucified it? (laughs) (laughs) Trying to make a Lent joke. Well, yeah, Chris, Chris, uh, Chris, leavening it up. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I heard that sound. I go, What the hell is in my house? so we, are we going to start with the Star Wars talk or lose any listener? <laughs> any <laughs> right, just kill it right in the beginning. Whoa, yeah. you That's got the, two. He's got, he's got one for his daughter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right, right. Make that make that background a t-shirt. So, Chris. Uh, I, don't, I don't have control of that. Yes. <laughs> so, you know you can switch out the crystals in those. Yes. And if you didn't buy them. All you have to do yes. is get you an art. Do you know this? You know this, the thing? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, we did buy a couple extra just, okay. just because. So, uh, hey everybody, what well, well, should probably not go into a cold open about lightsaber, <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, hello, you I were just got just back from Disney last week. Yeah, you were, you were Disney, Disney, Disney. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> Disney. Do it. Up. Doing Ooh, that Disney Walmart. thing. Did you have a good time? I had so much fun. So yeah, we. Um, what, about, what, what about the kids? Did they have also. Did you, buy the, holo- did you, you buy the holocrons as well? No, I did not. You should have. You like should have. forty or fifty bucks. I was like, no. Yeah. Well, you put um, the crystal in them and they talk. Yeah, I know, but like, <laughs> still, I'm like, dude. He was. He was already in for five. Dude, the amount of money that right. I fucking spent last right. week. Disney can go fuck itself after that. It, it's um, it's it's uh. It's they don't the, have uh, to go fuck themselves. They just fucked you. Yeah, they did. That's true. <laughs> you, I I did think the ghost was in the house. I said, "Look around." Really? What? Sure. When he um, turned on his lightsaber, I went. Or lightsaber. I went. I heard the. I don't whoosh. Know. Uh, it was it was an incredible experience. So yeah, last week I uh, during school vacation week. Uh, for us here in Massachusetts, I we, we went down with my, my wife and kids. Went down to Florida, as I mentioned before, probably th- a thousand times on the, on the show. Heard it once. Um, it was oh, it was geez, great. You just, know, I, I was I was super yet? nervous because I, I wasn't sure because my, my kids have never um, traveled beyond like car trips. Oh, I okay. Say, I, I thought you were going to say your kids have never had fun, so I was I was kind of well, that too. Yeah. Oh yeah, but my. Um, yeah, we've never traveled beyond a car trip with my kids. Well, I, mean, I, was, you know, I was a little were, bit nervous. You were on that. You were on that no fly list for such a long time for hitting all those True. people. So, yep. yeah. well, and that shoe bomb. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks for that because I always have to take out my shoe. I know. Yep. Thanks a lot, Chris. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh wait, he's getting an incoming call. No, we just lost you completely. We can't hear you. FBI. Yeah, I we FBI. <laughs> They've they've censored F- him. FBI is quick. <laughs> well, I think it was Disney. They're like he's gonna say something slander. He's talking about Disney. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I know. They, they gotta cut, <laughs> it out. cut that fucker off. <laughs> he couldn't find all the hidden Mickey's. <laughs> I actually uh, just going while Chris is muted. Uh, you know, I, I learned actually a lot about stuff I didn't even know about uh, within um, the Star Wars. Uh, whatever it's called in, in Disney world, Disneyland, you know, they've got all this other stuff. If you do on the Disney app, like you can hunt bounty hunters and all these things within oh. 
And I didn't even know that. And then, huh. you know, you, you go find yeah, them. I, and they're, I, like, they're like holocrons, like hidden places. And that. then if you get all 20 of them, like then you become part of the uh, the bounty hunters guild. And then like, oh. there's people out there that will tell you like where to find all the different characters that are you go in costume. And it's like, oh, this is, you know, people are really well, on in depth. You know, that's di- you got to be careful, though. I did that once and got arrested for hit, you know, smacking someone who wasn't a bounty hunter. Just a <laughs> You're thinking of a booty hunter. Yeah. <laughs> booty. <laughs> I'm just imagining Jack in the 80s. <clears throat> um, hey, Air? sorry. Hey, yeah, what happened? Back. <laughs> We've been waiting. I mean, like more. We want to know more about your adventure. Yeah, especially because I'm I'm going to be going. Sherry has a good point. Sometime. Chris is yeah. giving you a new tool on what to do when people tease you. Pretend you have no audio. <laughs> that's nice that's it's, it's totally aw- awkward that that just disconnected for whatever reason i'm not quite sure why like it wasn't even showing yeah, Matt would never say a word in the podcast <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah um so yeah so it, it was our first trip with the kids that was beyond driving um and they, they did a great job they they crushed it so um the that we we, we stayed at a really cool hotel it was an off off disney place that had like a water park and stuff we spent a ton of money on like food though which is like brutal like mm. and then mm. um it's not even good food either no nah, it wasn't great but like my itemized bill on top of the stay was like 800 bucks mm. <laughs> and i was like fuck for the food uh, for food just... and resort fees and booze and stuff and mm. then on top of that we also spent like 200 bucks on like an instacart delivery to the hotel too you is... can't when mm. you go to a place like disneyland disney world you just can't you can't look at the price because no, you can't. And and, and I, I I got over that pretty quickly. And the, but now I'm just pissed about it after the fact. Which you know whatever. Um, <laughs> maybe it's maybe yeah, it, the same same. It's way like after. holy crap, seven thousand dollars for a hamburger. Right, <laughs> but at the end of the day, but at least though, I got a nice hotel room. <laughs> the room was awesome. That's the, actually the, the best okay. part. So the the place that we stayed at called the Grove it was this um, mm-hmm. family resort and water park. Yeah, it was it was awesome though. So like, it was. Is it near the water park there? Then there is a water park at the hotel. Okay, so I just meant because because I know in Disney did you have World, to sleep on, like on the park, slides yeah. or did... no no no? So the rooms I, I saw. Oh, the rooms. There's actually rooms. Okay. Yeah, like the the rooms are amazing. Like they're absolutely as described. We looked at them in the last week's episode or last time I was on with you guys. We looked at the the screenshots of the place. So how it was like you know two and three bedroom like suites. They were as advertised. They're beautiful. It was awesome. Like it was the best way to go about it with having two kids and not having to be like in the same room as them all the entire mm, time. Mm-hmm. Um, so it it was the rooms were great. That, that does make it a nice room when the kids does. have their own room. Yeah. And my and my daughter was a rock star in the sense that she took care of my son in the mornings and and didn't oh. like bother us. Wow. So wow. We, we slept in we slept into like at least nine o'clock every day. It was fucking nice. amazing. Wow. Spoiled. <laughs> They're being really good to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, don't wait, did, mom and dad. Did they somebody got the take over blues. Yeah. Maybe right. You just threaten you, like, okay, this is the best time I've ever heard. Don't you mess this up. You just yeah. Don't yeah. Just threaten. Walt's watching. So, so we did that. We did that uh, for the majority of the week, and we only did Disney one day, and we did Hollywood Studios the one night. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you though, like, I'm I'm grateful that we did not go head first into Disney this year because. Um, with a three-year-old, it was fucking hard. Like it was yeah, hard. Like it, yeah, you, it, it's 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 hit or miss. It really is. Like and like there was moments in which he was awesome and he was like the best like vacation ever for him. And mm-hmm. there's moments he's just like fuck the world. This place mm-hmm. is god awful, and I want to go home and play and watch Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Um, <laughs> yeah, we we no, took, but we took we took Jay when he was three. Yeah, and I kept saying he's not going to have a good time. It's going to be warm. It's going to be hot. And yeah, he he hated it. He cried the yeah. whole time. And yeah, it's yeah. Funny, it's the same thing he did last time we took him. But that's I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but overall, it was awesome. Like in the the the, the great moments were amazing, right? You know, the, when he wasn't you know pissed off at being you know in the eighty five degrees and sunny and having to, to reapply sunblock every five minutes, he was. Um, he had a blast. So he got to go like on the Dumbo ride and he went on Pirates of the Caribbean. He went on. Uh, Which is the best. Oh, yeah. And he went on. Carlos, um, don't be chicken. That's my favorite, the, that's my favorite uh, part um, of the ride. He went on the Winnie the Pooh ride. Meanwhile, my daughter and I, we went in there and we beelined it to Thunder Mountain. We did yeah. Thunder Mountain mm-hmm. first. 
Um, we did Pirates. We did um, Haunted House. Haunted Mansion. We did. Yeah, we did a bunch of shit. It, I it was the Haunted House. It looks like yeah, you got it, some it was sun fun. too. Like you, you got some. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, I was, I was, I was pretty lubed up with sunscreen the entire time. I was oh, scared okay. to get burned. Sunscreen. Lubed. Okay, all right, sunscreen. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and then Except we went rooms. and did. Then my daughter and I went and did um, Haunted Man. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Hollywood Studios at night, and it was fucking awesome. Anybody listening who's making plans or potentially making plans to go to Disney. If you can get after hours passes for one of the attractions you're going to fucking mm-hmm. do it. Like it was so mm-hmm. cool. They do it at all the parks. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, the, we did the after hours event at Hollywood studios. So we got there, but at the same time, like we also had things we had to get done when we went there. So we had a reservation to make lightsabers. We had a reservation for Oga's cantina. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had the nighttime passes. Now, the downside to nighttime passes is that it's restricted in, until midnight from like uh, technically the event is from nine to midnight or 1230. But you can go in at seven. You can go in early. But the benefit of having the event is that at nine o'clock, all the day ticket people are no longer allowed on the rides. Hmm. Right. So you are able to go in into reduced lines, which is awesome especially if you plan on going on the rise of the resistance. <laughs> it's mm, like, the, mm-hmm. like the average wait time for the rise of the resistance is like over three hours. Which Jeez. Is wild. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we still... wait about, we wait about 45 minutes. Okay. Nice. Do yeah. they have the Indiana Jones ride as well? At Disney? You know what? We didn't even get a chance to get over there. So okay. yes, I saw it in the distance. Um, Jack Sparrow is not in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Um, so there's he a is, likeness. He is, he, is, he, is, he, is in, he is in Disneyland. Yeah. There is a likeness of him, but mm-hmm. I'm told, and I, I mean, it looks pretty close to him, but I'm also told that they redid the likeness to be less like, um, and the voice oh, is no longer. They, they, it looks, heard, no, no, it has nothing yes. to do with, it oh, has not? nothing to do with, no, it actually, they're trying to make it look more like Ron DeSantis. So <laughs> it, it's a, uh, Anyway, so I, I, I mean, I don't well, know if that's it, true. It, it used, last time I was there, it was it was uh... like there there is a Jack Sparrow there. There's a Jack yeah, Sparrow yeah. there. But but, well, but I believe they've, they've made they've made it to look and sound less like Johnny Depp. I, I, I'm told I'm not sure that's true or not. But that's what I was told. I know um, Disneyland. It was definitely Johnny Depp. But I I'm pretty yeah. sure when I was in uh, last time I, was I could be wrong. I could be I could be wrong. I don't know. It was Johnny um, Depp there, too. Except, except, so, except the only part I care about is Carlos. Don't be chicken. In the whole right yeah <laughs> so anywho um we did the whole thing there and that was awesome but if you have the opportunity to do it in any of the disney after hours tickets do it um uh, because it's it's pretty awesome right so you have reduced lines uh but you the get twilight come out um yeah, we got out. park right. well i'm sorry what, what was john's comment there he just put that away uh he just was saying the rise of resistance in 2020 we got out at the park at 6 a.m for rise of resistance worth it yeah dude the, the ride is amazing like it's it? actually it's it's pretty amazing now so now that you've ridden it you know yeah. when, you, you, when you first go into the okay yeah, like, you know when you first go into it and like they're on you're on the transport and like you're just kind of just kind of like rocks for a little bit and you're like what the fuck is this like the whole time you're thinking i'm this is a shitty ride and then when the door opens opens you're just yeah. like holy shit like you just don't expect any of it and it's, yeah, yeah yeah and then it's the awesome. whole world opens up and, i, and I didn't yeah. i didn't go and i watched the grandkids so ah. oh that's terrible um so anyway, it, 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 it was awesome. We really talk about it. No. I, I, yeah. So, 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 I'm so just the point, the point, the point I was really trying to make was uh, mm. before we get to the rise bit is like the after hours thing is awesome because before we got in line for the rise of the resistance, we you know we is in between the Smuggler's Run, which is the which is the uh, Millennium Falcon ride, and the rise. We went to uh, one of the many stations they have offered for your for the after hours event where you get free popcorn, free ice cream, free sodas, like all that is stuff it, was is free. It, is it really free though? Yeah, well, I mean, it's part of the ticket price, you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, it, it it was great. Like it, it that was awesome because it was like we needed that. We we may have gotten more than one ice cream. Mm-hmm. Sue me. Um, but yeah, you're it paying great. for it, man. It's, so, you got to get it. Let's let's see your hilt of the yes. Lightsaber. So that that's the hilt. I brought I brought I brought both of the lightsabers. All down. of this has been leading up to the shaft. <laughs> so, so no, I'm well, it describe, always comes. It, it always comes back to Nancy. I'm trying to describe it at home for the the people that are not you know listening. You know, you're just hearing the the podcast. 
So there's there's a couple of different um, options you have when you're there's four different options you have when you go to the um, to Savi's workshop to build a lightsaber. So essentially, when you like, what's really cool about the experience is that like Galaxy's Edge, everyone there is in is in character, and even to the point of like the workshop is like if you ask somebody where the, where the lightsaber workshop is, they're not going to tell you, right? Um, because it's well, like. The, the the whole depot has been taken over by the first order. The first order, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so what's so you know, like, even 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 so much to the point where like when we were waiting in line to go inside, like stormtroopers came up to the line and were interrogating the people that worked there, and people mm-hmm. were in line. It was actually kind of cool. Oh, uh, but before you go in, you you make the choice of which style of lightsaber you want to buy. There's four styles you can go through, and for those who played the um the Jedi there, Order game, there's yes, like the Harry pen. style. Um, before you before you go style. in, you choose the four styles, and it's it's the rid- the, um, the Jedi game for Xbox. Um, there's the same it's the same styles you see from that game, but there's peace and justice, power and control, elemental nature, and protection and defense. Ooh, I okay. chose for my hilt mm-hmm. peace and justice. Oh, a little on the OG side. Yep. Okay. It looks like Nick did the same. Mm-hmm. Um, so here you, is... get, you get a different pin. Yeah, for which one you Ooh. choose. This is my hilt. Yeah. Yours is similar to mine, yeah. Um, which I really like. Uh, it's it's awesome. Um, when you when you open it up, like you can, I'll kind of give try the best demonstration I possibly can. These things are fucking substantial, by the way. Oh yeah, like, I was actually, and they weigh a lot. They, they this is heavy. It's probably what do you say about ten pounds? Twenty maybe? pounds? Eight, eight, I don't eight, know about ten. Pounds? 10. Maybe, I don't know about ten. Six to ten pounds. Twenty nine. It's it's more than you'd think it would be, but you get. Uh, once you get in here, you get like a you choose your kyber crystal, which is placed on oh. in the inside. Oh, yeah. so they, they yeah. So for everyone out there, yeah, they, they put he's like, opening up the shaft. They they put like a bunch of pieces in front of you when you go in, and then they come around with like this thing. It says like, oh, you choose which color crystal you want. You can choose any Ooh. color, and then yeah. So you went with blue. If I was a producer, I would blow it up on the main screen. But so you know, at the end, at the end of the day, anymore. what this is, this is just a um, I don't know how to do it. It's just That's, a a plastic crystal, right? And there's an RFID chip inside of it that wirelessly talks to the actual the hilt of the, of the lightsaber. Now, spoiler alert: if you really wanted to, you could actually, if you had the, if you have like an RFID reader, yeah. you could go in and like re, and reprogram this if you yeah. wanted to. It's uh, a pain. Um, it's a pain, but you can do it. Yeah, I did. You it can for do all it. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, so, so when you looks put like, your your crystal like in here, there. he's uh, clipping the the ball sack into place. Yeah, so you hear that sound? Yeah. And so actually, oh. it goes in. It makes me curious, like which crystal you got, because like you either got old Ben. No, you got. He's putting yeah, it in his lap. You got either old Obi Wan Kenobi stro- or. Um, oh, he's, he's just trying to turn it on. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, there's slime everywhere. I didn't know there was <laughs> slime involved. <laughs> you guys are fucking terrible. <laughs> what? What would? What would you do if the situation was reversed? I'd be like, dude, that's pretty sick. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Come on. Well, I guess we're gonna find out in a couple months. <laughs> oh, are you are you going to? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then of course the activation you last of week? the lightsaber. Yeah. What's neat is yeah. that the, even the sound is I, different I too, just came. depending on what kind yeah. of saber you get. Because like if, really? you got the, if you get the green, like notice when he turns it on, it has the sound of like uh of a uh, blue you know the blue coming on when uh, with the blue saber when it, if you got the green it actually makes the sound from return of the jedi when you know that that really sharp you know like you know what he oh right yeah so it, it's really it, they make different sounds depending on which color you get so my daughter chose uh protection and defense defense mm-hmm. for hers oh uh, yeah i thought the, so yeah i yeah. see so hers <laughs> is pretty rad <laughs> just, just <laughs> nice. himself <laughs> and, 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 and she chose purple. Oh, purple. oh nice, nice. nice. That's very cool. Uh, we also bought extra. We bought a white crystal and yeah. a uh, yellow for the Jedi Sentinel. You are crazy. Nice. Oh, yeah. man. But her, hers came out pretty awesome, too. I was pretty impressed with her her choice. Which other can, I ask how I like much, the, can I ask how much those cost? Yeah, they're not cheap. So They're you're, you're 205 No, 250 You got ripped off. <laughs> they're, well, they're now 250 or 249 each um, okay yeah it was like it was like 205 or 210 when i went because you're basically the 200 yeah. for the saber and you're giving like a little extra for the people who were you know the, and 
I, I will say, like, I was doing a whole lot of this, like, just swipe my card. Like, I don't even yeah. want to look. Just like, you know, my daughter, uh, Kim, is turning 11 in two weeks, three weeks, actually. So she's wow. she's 10, wow. turning 11. Um, but uh, I, I will say this. Like, I mean, yes, it's fucking expensive, right? No doubt about it. But, like, there is no way I wasn't going to go and not build a goddamn is, I'm is, First of is all, your, I'm, is, right is sec- you. I'm right there with you, by the way. I'm and se- and second of all, like, like you, yes, you're paying... Like, but there, there, people pay more for mm-hmm. lightsabers, like which is wild to me. I would never, personally, I would never do it. But the experience of doing it was worth every fucking penny. So, from a couple of angles, right? So, number one, like I, I I'll show you guys some pictures. I'm not gonna do it now, but like the picture of just I have a picture of my daughter just being like, "Oh my god, this is awesome!" Like, and like looking to my left and seeing her, like just like enamored in the whole process and like the um the the guy who was running the whole uh, workshop where you're building it was mm-hmm. just so brilliantly done in character right. like it was it was awesome like i i felt like a kid doing it and i got to see my kid doing it too well, and mm-hmm. for yeah. me that was absolutely fucking worth it chris says i would have been uh, definitely afraid to bring them home on a plane tsa being all careful and stuff That's yeah dude i mean uh, they give you a, a nice foam uh, sling with it. Yep. And so it, it is good and protected. And you can buy like That's the one that comes with it when you buy it. Yeah. You can actually buy one that's even You can better. buy a really cool really one. Really good one, yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I, but, I had a quick – go ahead. So I need I to take say, another like $10,000 I, I when I go. I did okay. not fly with mine. Um, so you can also do this, a little pro tip, um, is that from the, uh, the, the place next door, it was like the Droid Depot – Okay. Uh, you can bring you can bring your lightsabers to them, yeah. and they Those, will yeah. offer you. You can ship them home. That's what I so, do. Okay, yeah. that's I, I, a good 30, idea. Yeah, Thirty-five bucks. The, yeah, where 35 you bucks, and they and they drop them into a, a very protected box and, and sent them via. Is UPS. it thirty-five a piece or is it no. like you? No, no. Is there something else okay. I can help oh, with? Stop, Siri. Um, well, so there's it was thirty-five bucks for, for one box to send them back, <laughs> and they insure them. So. Like I, I did this because a friend of mine who did his, like he built a, a droid at the Droid Depot. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he and he and he shipped his back via UPS, and they insure them. So it like and his came back damaged. Oh. He called the number. He called the number, and no questions asked. They literally mailed him a brand new one. Wow. Um, so no, I was like, yeah, that's that's, that's worth it. I'm, that's awesome. I, and I don't have to deal with checking it. I don't have to mm-hmm. deal with any of that bullshit. So, sir, is this a weapon? You're yes. like, right. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, I, you have to imagine <laughs> the, or, the, 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 or, the Orlando <laughs> TSA probably sees a thousand lightsabers a day. <laughs> right. right. And, and if they're not that, they're the other kind. Right. right. <laughs> Something's coming so, in here. That's, that's <laughs> my story, man. It was, it was awesome. I, my, my, I, my I question, highly my, recommend it. My question to you is, is your wife into Star Wars? No, not even a little bit. So what? It, so what does she think about the price of everything and all that? I told her. I said. I I, I set the expectation before we went. I'm like, I am gonna she's go. Probably, and she's probably. She's probably like how shit. your daughter was smiling and stuff like that. But I was just wondering. Yeah. She's just like, like, what? What a waste. Of well, money. she didn't even go. So that that was part of the whole thing. Like, um, for the the after hours, it was just my daughter and I. Mm, so we, okay. we went together, and it was did kind of like. A, a, did you rent a car or use the? No, we we took an Uber from the hotel. Okay. Um, but it was it was awesome. Like it was like it was a highlight of the trip for, for my daughter because it was like the, her time to be kind of like without her brother and right. like, all that stuff. And like, and that, that makes it us. kind of special too. Like yeah. to, to have those those moments because so so we went out, we went we then went on the Slinky Dog ride, which is like the roller coaster from Toy Story Land. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and then we did at literally at midnight, uh, we got on the Tower of Terror, which is kind of, oh, was wow. kind of cool. So we oh, did Tower of Terror at, at the strike of midnight, which is pretty rad. That Scared the fucking shit out of my daughter, but it was awesome. What's it? What's the theme now? Is it is, is it still the Twilight Zone, or did they? Yeah, yeah, it's Twilight Zone. It's Twilight Zone. We, we were there. They had cha- they were changing it. They were doing something we couldn't. I think they did something with with um. I think they were doing like a, a like a takeover for Guardians of the Galaxy at yeah. one point. Is that yeah. still the case, or is it not? No, no, huh. it's it's, okay. it's just straight up the. Uh, so so they said. Oh, well, that that makes me mad now because it was. Or is that? Because we I thought Guardians was in Epcot. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. There's a ride at Epcot. Yeah, okay. it was the, ta- but, the Tower of Terror announced the Guardians ride. No. What is it, Disneyland? Oh, maybe in Disneyland. That's where it was. I mean, I, I'm, I wasn't. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. But the Tower of Terror at Disney uh, Hollywood Studios is still Twilight Zone. Okay. 
Oh, she's a tower chair. So yeah, so my my daughter is actually super scared of loud noises, and she actually is mm. deathly afraid of fireworks. I think I may have mentioned that before on the show before. Mm-hmm. So as we're walking from the Slinky Dog roller coaster to Tower of Terror, probably around ten minutes of midnight, five of midnight. Anyone who's familiar with like Hollywood Studios, you have to walk past this this like st- like this place where they do like live shows and they do live fireworks. I didn't mm-hmm. know. And we literally walked by the building where they shot the fucking fireworks off. Oh, and it was it was one of those things where like I saw it go. I was like, no. no. I've, like, seen, that, I've seen that commercial. Yeah, you like did a tuck and roll. You know, poor, like, poor, poor kid. Her poor kid her. lost it though. She, I mean, mm. she she loses it to the point where she like gets curls up in a ball and like had to crouch oh. on the ground. Like I, I felt terrible. And, so I was like, and then and then you went on Tower of Terror. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she was all about it though. Like she, that, that was like her dad big of thing the year right here. She was, it, <laughs> it was like the big thing she wanted to do. And we're sitting there in line. She's like, "I think I made a bad choice, Dad." I go, "Yeah, you probably did, but it's too late now, kid. We're, <laughs> we're in it." <laughs> so she went on it, and she fucking hated it. It scared the piss out it's, of her. It's fun until the drop, right? I, I love no. Uh, I it's love actually your, it's actually kind of scary for her. I, I, I but, love your attitude, Chris. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't have liked it if you were my dad, but I love your attitude. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. You probably made a bad choice, but yeah, she's so like, she, no, she was like, I made a bad choice. I'm like, yeah, you, you might have. Um, and then can't so, get out of line now. But Good. she enjoyed it. overall. She had a blast, and then we got back to the hotel that night at like one o'clock in the morning, and we got in the elevator. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, nice. you want to press the button, kid? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Wait for the drop. She thought it was funny. She thought it was funny, but then we had, we had to get up at five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning to take a flight out the next morning. That was brutal, but we made it home, and here we are. How was the airport? Was it crowded? Yeah, yeah, it was crowded. It was, what, you know, you, typical you, vacationers. No, so because the lo- cause last time we were there, it was like it was like. Two and a half hours. I'm like going, oh my god! I just want to hear about the good things from Disney. Yeah, I, don't want to hear I, I think well, I think I've, I've decided after this. Tri- I think I, after this trip, I've decided that yeah, I want to get a TSA pre check. I think oh, I'm going to sign up. You that. still aren't? Wow. Hey, yeah. I had T- I had TSA pre check, and it was still two and a half hours. That's awesome. Really? I mean, pre- no, pre check. It, 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 it was worth it was every penny. Hat that day. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm god, I'm going to do that. So we're flying sick. the we're flying in Chicago in June. I'm going to make sure we have that before we go. Did you get any other cool knickknacks? Little things? No, not really, man. You know, like we, I knew what I was getting into. Is like I gotta like not spend a whole ton of money on shit because. I mean, well, me, you you yeah. you went in for something specific too. You know, you're like okay, I, I'm yeah, doing this. A, yeah, I mean, yeah, but I mean, the thing is, just like you know, I don't have kids. So like when I went, I was like, hey, that's probably the last time I go. <laughs> so like every Star Wars thing I could buy, I did. You know, like, mm-hmm. like yeah, you know, I happened to buy a chance cube. You know, oh, <laughs> like, just, nice, like, dude. Like, you know, just little things that you find around, laying around. You're like, oh, look. And then like, I'll get that. Yeah. There, I'll there was so many. Pocket. Dude, there was so much cool shit. Like, like there is there is a store there that if you don't know, it's, it's, it's again, like one of those things, like it's like a depot, right? So it's a hidden mm-hmm. store. It's not hidden in the sense like you have to like, like find it. But, but, but it's not like it's not advertised. But, but there's a mm-hmm. store that's next to the lightsaber place. That's like the Jedi outpost, and they sell. Right. That's where you can buy. You can buy the holocrons. You can buy the the mm-hmm. crystals. You can actually buy lightsaber hilts, and you can Unstuck. buy Jedi robes and shit. And I was like, Jesus mm-hmm. Christ, I kind of mm-hmm. want Obi Wan's robe right now. No, 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 hey, I can't we, do that. I can't do that. <laughs> that's interesting. I, I, I wanted a I wanted a stormtrooper outfit. They have those. I know. I I was there. I said. I could get this walk through Comic Con, be a dick. I, mean, I yeah. just want the slave girl outfit for my <laughs> wife. Talk to Tim. Yeah. Um, that's, that's interesting because like when i was in disneyland for the longest time you you can't actually buy the jedi robes for adults they they made them for a while but they kept selling out of them they quit making them where you get them for the kids mm. but not mm-hmm. for you can get ray's costume or you can get like yeah. a jedi mm-hmm. robe they had them yeah when i was there they had them i almost Just the robe, my or could you buy everything like you can buy uh because you could get the the under stuff and the belt the underwear they had, they had, they they had, had the, the brown robes they had brown robes just the brown like, robe okay. kind of it's like 150 bucks i was like dude yeah, the star wars long johns are, are just 60 dollars. <laughs> you know it just seems kind of like ridiculous because they're just long johns Look, did you, have you had a night and on tatooine okay it's cold <laughs> it's cold uh but overall you know 10 out of 10 highly recommend like get your ass down there and check out galaxy of heroes or galaxy's edge 
Um, and uh, Disney obviously is amazing, right? Um, I only live on the, the edge of the galaxy. You know, there you so go. Right, the outer rim, even. You know, I mean, Beyond you might the want the seat, but you're just going to need the galaxy's edge. Never heard of that planet, that. Indiana. Isn't there like I, a commercial I, I got, break? I got to say somewhere? this: we've actually added listeners and didn't lose listeners during this Star Wars talk. Oh wow! First, nice. time, oh. first time ever. Oh. I think people feel guilt. I think they, people said, "Hey, it's their 200th episode." Yeah, they were like, "We're yeah. tuning in for this. We'll stick I'll, around." I'll put, Surely I'll they're not going to talk about Star Wars and Lego the whole I mean, time. They can't for the 200. Well, well, with with, with all it. that with it's with all of that Star Wars talk, though, it might be a good idea to take a break to for a word from our sponsors. Which is probably Disneyland. Disney World. Let's take a break. This was brought to you by Disney. Come and visit yeah. Disney. <laughs> we check. took all of we took all of Chris's money. We could take yours too. Chris Dude, got I bought, blue. A, I bought a okay. fucking hot dog at, at, at Magic Kingdom for $18. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but it was so good. <laughs> so even, even the cafeteria in um yeah. and uh the Star Wars area, it's like they only have like oh four things you can order. It's like a like a really shitty piece of chicken. You know, or like a hot dog, or it's or like a slice of Velveeta cheese. It's, I, don't, yeah, I, it's I, all just I, like I think Chris said it. I, I don't look. I don't look at the price. I just kind of yeah. just go, all right, just give it to me. Okay, S- sign the receipt and, and move on because, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I don't want to know. You did do hey, the uh, yes. You did do the Millennium Falcon ride too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we did. I I, mean, I left that part out a little bit, but um, so much fun. We, what? We, what 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 position were we you had in? a commercial? I was the, I was the engineer. The Wars. The engineer. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> my, my my daughter really wanted to be the pilot, as did I. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. we did not get Chris, that. We Chris Dorn we says I missed the meal. The meal plans were the best. It's you weird. Pay, you pay, you pay for everything up front. So I I was the pilot, but I, I don't Chris. I don't think they've had the meal plans since COVID. I'm confused. Uh, they're about bring, the they're bringing plan. them back. They are bringing them back. I guess you got an email about that the other day. They're bringing the meal plans back. Yeah, because when oh. the first time we went, they had the meal plan, and we got okay. Everyone, this is your meal plan. You can get meal, you know, whatever. meal plan for what? What am I your missing food. here? Well, you you prepay for your food, so it's <laughs> loaded onto your little bracelet thing. You pop uh, it on the thing, and okay. you can get your food. Okay. And it, 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 when we t- we took everybody, and yeah. we said, okay, this is your meals. You can do if you want to do something else. Right. You can, yeah. but we did. Uh, they had this. I forget this place. It was it was a lot of fun, but the food sucked. It was like in the wilderness area, and the it's wilderness. the thing like if you ask for ketchup, mm-hmm. everybody came from all the tables would have to bring you ketchup, and they'd put it all on your table, and you, you were stuck with it until someone else asked for ketchup. <laughs> That's funny. This is what it was one of these things. It was it just you get a you get a you get a drink. It, it, it was just. It's just one of those things where you, when you walk in, and you don't know that what's going to happen, you don't know. Oh. That. It's like, huh. what the fuck? Why is everyone bringing me ketchup? That's funny. Finally, 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 someone asked for ketchup, and so we got twenty five ketchup bottles on our our That's uh, fine. That's table, cool. and then it just it was just all. And finally, someone goes, yeah, finally, here, here's a ketchup. <laughs> but the food, it was it was expensive. The, the drinks were like huge drinks but everything tasted like shit but it was disney and we had fun so i i got i got the chicago dog and it was like the foot long chicago dog and it was it was awesome like it was so good <laughs> like, i was like i can't believe i just paid 18 bucks for a hot dog i'm like Bro, i'm eating the whole fucking thing <laughs> it was, yeah. Yeah, it was, better, it was so good. exactly chris storm oh, out the uh, best place were the 50 prime time cafe yeah th- those are but they they will treat you like if they, they have ma- you have to have manners and you have I got in trouble for telling on somebody, telling on someone no, in my no party. One, no one likes a snitch, Jack. And, and huh, so yeah, snitches, mama, snitches, mama comes, mama comes out and she goes, "All right, you're you're. We don't like to tattle tales." I go, but I go. I was just tell. I go. So I got in trouble. Huh? I, I got I got literally got in trouble. <laughs> at the 50s in the fifties primetime cafe is like misogyny and racism run rampant as well. Is that is that what you're in? For? I, I get. Like, I, I, don't I, do that. I, I, I yeah, could say not. something, but I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to get canceled. But no, it was. It was. A, it was. A, they just have saying, great. It's, it's they 50s, have great, I'm just expecting. Was, you know, <laughs> if they have great meat, the meatloaf there is outstanding with the mashed potatoes. Mm. He got my, that. my wife makes a like a little mini meatloaf, um, like like uh, entree for for us, and it's kind of nice because it's just like your own little mini meatloaf and then she makes it her own special like ketchup that goes on top nice. it's like a homemade ketchup. you know like like paste my uh 
so, so Chris Jordan just just texted or put in the chat there. He said he got yelled at for using his walkie-talkie, most likely in the fifties. Oh. Sounds like uh, Emma got yelled at because she turned on her lightsaber in the cantina. Oh, she got in trouble. Huh. She's like, okay. she, what? I, I go, it's okay. They're they're, they're in character. Like, oh. <laughs> It was awesome, though. I, 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 if I had my druthers, and if I, if I thought about it, I'd be like, my, "This is Jedi business. It's okay." I, I should, I should have said that. I, should, I fucking should have done it. But I thought you about it. You had your plane. moment once in a while. I have a moment. I was like, I was on the plane ride home. I'm like, I mean, I should have pretended it was a Jedi. We could have gotten away with it. <laughs> you blew awesome. it, Dad. You blew it. Yeah, yeah, I did. If you go to the '50s, also don't talk on your cell phone. Okay, yeah. That's, these are good things to know. Yeah, because so. you don't want to get yelled at for. I mean, that that it's it's probably the the best food at the park. I would say. I like how Kim's like the ketchup place is so passive aggressive. Yeah, it is kind of passive aggressive. <laughs> what would happen yeah. if you want? Could oh, you ask, could you it. ask for a, a tab or a Pepsi free in the Fifties Cafe? <laughs> no, no. I guess you could, but you got to be careful because you could get in trip. That's a different property altogether. I, should, I, be like, oh, I, I missed that comment from Sherry. She says, "Get global entry." That's another option. Uh, yeah. alongside TSA pre-check, right? So uh, yeah, yeah. You, well, you want to. I mean, it depends. Like, how much international Inside travel are you going to do? Because global yeah. entries, I have global entries. Totally worth it yeah, if you have to fly. Know. Because like you skip customs if you have global entry. Oh, and that's if, pretty awesome. That's why it's awesome. You, you can also yeah. pack a weapon. Which is really cool. See, that's what we, were, when we were no, but you back. can you can pack like uh, liquids. Oh, really? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Depending, yeah. With pre-check, I think, or clear, mm-hmm. or well, I don't know, one of the two. Yeah, uh, and Johnson, wish- Johnson, says, and then there's Splash Mountain. I actually no, there's not. Uh, so Splash yeah, Mountain no shut down. Um, it's, yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're, call, they're calling it he, now the Princess and the Frog ride. And yeah, are, it's Tia, oh. Tiana's Tiana's are, restaurant yes. or wherever it is. It's going to be a Princess and the Frog um, themed. Uh, I, I remember yes, hearing, hearing about that. I I would think Moana would make sense because you could go on a on a on a wave. You well, know, they're redoing the whole like, fucking thing, so I don't know what's happening on. here. And actually, like the Sunday, like three days prior to us going to Hollywood Studios, they they actually shut down uh, the Rock and Roll roller coaster, which is the best. I, I remember you saying that wasn't going to be open. You were there. When yeah. is this cancel culture going to stop? When mm. people stop raping 15-year-old girls is when they're going to stop it. Really. There you go. There oh, you is go. that why they're changing Sorry. from Aerosmith? I mean, they're not saying that, but the news came out that Steven Tyler statutory raped a woman back in, in the 60s or 70s or 80s, and yeah. then minutes after that news broke. And yet Nick Jagger to shut down just the walks free. Just walks free. Sorry. I mean, the, Led, I mean, Led Zeppelin. I mean, there's What's so many. Like, I mean, that, that's what Dirty Laundry by... Uh, 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 Kick him when you're up, Don Henley. Don Henley. That's why. That's what that song's about. I mean, that's you know, like they they accuse David Bowie of the same thing. I mean, it's just a yeah. You know, Jimmy Jimmy Pay Jimmy Page. But when, when when you're Disney and you have that much exposure, you don't take any chances. You cut yeah. your ties and you move on. So that's it's, true. It, you go. It's unfortunate because it's it's a great ride. You don't you don't really need. You could change it to any rock group. I mean, but you take, yeah. I guess you take a chance with any rock group. About take it. a chance. Take a chance. Chance. God, can you imagine an Abba ride? Yeah. <laughs> well, Cindy, Cindy hates. I found out Cindy hates Abba. But... Really, really, Cindy yeah. hates Abba. Huh? I found this out when we. This is. I think we were still doing. I mean, I feel like that's like the original Ramblecast. I mean, that would that would have been like your former country of origin. You know, uh, you used to claim Sweden, 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 right? Yeah, there's some. No, he's from Switzerland. Switzerland. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just, I just thought you, you knew think, us. You think all? I actually, well, I, I would like to you go. Think to those all as countries are alike. Way to go, Matt. Let's let's, let's, let's do a we should do a world tour. We should do. Can somebody? Can we like pay somebody all of our Patreon money and have someone create an amazing race and it should be two v two? Um, <laughs> me and Nick. <laughs> I, I I know I know you guys have this this love, but don't count Jack and I out. Okay. They don't get a global entry. It'll be a great experience. It's gonna be awesome. Because I, I, I don't play fair, so you would lose. And and I'm crafty as fuck. Plus, I've, I've I've watched it. So, I watched the Amazing Race. I, I mean, podcast the Amazing Race. You're not gonna beat me for the most of. I've never even part, seen it. You think Jack and I are divided, but united, we stand. <laughs> no, Dude. I just think that the powers combined of Nick and me are fucking in unstoppable. Uh, you, on the second day, you guys, you guys would be the couple that is always fighting. Yes. No, we would never fight. Oh, we might fight bullshit. others, yeah. but we would no, never no, fight. No, no, if we did, if we did fight each other, it'd be 
comedic television gold. It would be. I'd be like, no, because you, you guys are both fucking big diabetes headed. boy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys would be arguing left and right about who's about directions and stuff. Like that. It would be it'd be terrible. I be put fun in your did, mouth while you're asleep, and you piece yeah. of shit. Did you just say we'd be fighting about erections? Directions. Oh, directions. directions. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Whatever you guys fight about, that's on your guys' time. Okay. I change his insulin with Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> now that. See, we're not even that. doing it. It's funny. Like this is a, this is a good. Sh- Someone should pick this idea up. I think it would be awesome. Yeah. Why did Why did Nick die? Or something oh, finance it for us. Switch make it happen. Background. He's dead, but he, he's stiff both ways. He's dead and he's I did not say that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck's um, sake. You can all go to hell. All right. No, I think yeah. I think Matt and I would be very good at it. Can yeah. You guys drive a, can you guys drive a stick shift? We clearly I have. drive. Huh? Yeah. I thought I learned how to drive. Huh? Yeah, I I drive. Can throw, throw Jack and I have like a combined age that would just yeah. <laughs> collect what? two paychecks. <laughs> Of what? <laughs> Collect two social security checks. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're solid. Of, uh, 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 all right, Chris and Nick. Anyone afraid of heights? I've skydived no. before. Yeah. I get okay. vertigo, but I'm not scared of heights. Oh, I got to tell you, I got this vagal response where I might pass out. <laughs> the sight of all blood. Right. See? Can we... <laughs> Nick, all right, Jackson, hold on. Fuck. Fuck. Can I? Can I? <laughs> Jay used to be part of it. Can I get Jay? No. <laughs> you just cut me out because you just get afraid out? of blood and everything else. I'm like going, what I'm the not, hell? I'm not afraid of blood. It's just I may have a vagal response. <laughs> Great. Is he ever going to wake up? I don't know. We're, we're now in last place. Wake up, Matt. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Nick's low blood sugar with a huge heart on running down right. the road. <laughs> You just see Phil now. <laughs> Bring it in, guys. Bring it in. Whoa. 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 Someone, someone's excited. <laughs> <laughs> and it depends. And depending on what country we're in, me running around with a hard on could be a good thing or a very scary thing. You don't know. <laughs> hey, we're in Amsterdam. It's okay. It's Go okay. Ahead. You're in Thailand. It's kind of weird, man. We're in the Vatican. <laughs> it's accepted. <laughs> it's like, hey, welcome. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. Uh, it's normal. Here. We walk around with them all the time. <laughs> Sign here, and you're good. We, we're just covering our our ass moving forward. You know when they blow oh, the smoke man. up? That's that's mm. been, uh, mm. been uh, that'd be fun. I, I, so, somebody, sh- someone who's got a lot of money should bankroll this idea and make oh, it happen. Sure. It's not me. I just bought fucking two lightsabers. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what are we talking about? Like fifty thousand dollars to make this happen? You oh, know? I'll, I'll tell yeah. you something. I'll tell yeah, you something probably. else that's neat. Also about those lightsabers is that. Um, oh my god! What? No, because <laughs> there's there's two hidden codes in the lightsabers because originally they were going to make an orange and a teal color, and they never did. But you hmm. can still change the code to those if you have. Oh, the right you know, you know how we, you know how we'd win, Matt. I just mm. throw some Star Wars information. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, 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 we gotta read it. Yeah, oh, no, no. I think this you is a clue. You, you, you realize Matt the, is the also a huge Star Wars fan, right? Yeah, but, right. but but I would tell him. All right, know, Matt, this way is bigger. fake. This is fake. I'll put would, the uh, the uh, Amazing Race logo on it. They, I would, I would, we, we, would, we would know. We'd know it was fake. Yeah. No, uh, this is a bad orange lightsaber. It's the code. Actually, Rose said she. Rose said she would. She would watch it. She don't. That'd be the first time she watched Amazing Race. I say the Amazing Race is probably better than Survivor now. Hmm. Survivor has two two, many two, fucking... two shows I've never watched in my kitchen. This is the one thing that Chris <laughs> and I um, are are solid on. You know, it's kind of it's kind there's of interesting more than, because there's sure, what the shows fuck that we, you? There, we have way more things that we're solid on. We're, we're See, there, yeah, right? yeah. No, Chris no, is going to get saying. along. Chris is going to get along with everything. This is the I one thing I think Chris is not a fucking idiot for. It's pretty much what you just said to me. Like I no, normally, that. normally it's a real piece of shit, but for this one thing, <laughs> no. Agree. My thought we're was soft. back to you, Bob. <laughs> my thought was is that there are certain shows where, like you and I, we've never watched Survivor, correct? Not once. Okay, now Nick and I. We've never watched uh, that one um, show that's about the president. Um, West Wing. What's that? 
Oh, uh, West Wing. Uh, West, West Wing. Wing. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Nick yeah, and I never yeah. watched West Wing. Watched Wait. West Wing. Yeah. Right. And really? then, and then Jack and I, we've never. I don't know. We've probably watched all the same shit. I don't know. I've never I can't done guess, four, I, I three can't watch you have never watched the West Wing. The West Wing's a must. I'm it just, really is. I'm just pointing out that the Venn diagram of all of the different things that we we do watch or we don't watch, you know. So you still have not justified the comments you made about me. <laughs> <laughs> Not it, was, it was a good redirection, but this, you didn't. This is the, the one comment. thing that I will give you. This is the one See, thing. And they made some racial comments. And Chris is too sensitive. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Is he, is he really? No. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Knowing, knowing what he put his daughter through, I think. I think no, dude. No, for, no, no. Hold on. Now, hold on. For the record, that was. All her. No, I know. She it just, wanted it's funny nothing how you more than that. Like yeah, the you, fireworks you situation. The and like okay. taking your, the... Oh, the fire! I felt awful about the fireworks thing. Yeah. But it is what it is. It happened. Passed. We're good. Bro, you now. can have West Wing. I'm. I'm not saying you know. Maybe one day I'll watch West Wing. You know. It's, Rose it's says the the West Wing is uh is their Star Wars. Wars. She. Mm. Uh, I think she met. She was. Uh, didn't she? I know you listened to the podcast, the West Wing podcast. I think she has a West Wing uh, lightsaber too. Nice. So she was for <laughs> peace and justice. Peace and justice. <laughs> um, because Bartlett is a president we all want. Ah, oh, fucking hell, yeah. <sighs> Dude. Anyway, so awesome. Even I, if um... you don't agree with his politics, I mean, sure he got caught in a couple of lies, and sure he killed he killed a. He killed somebody he probably shouldn't have killed. <gasps> All right. Oh, you got a lapel. It's pen? a label pen. Nice. La- label. Label. Lapel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there you go. From um, what's the podcast name? L- like label. The West podcast, or whatever it is. Yeah. With uh, with uh, Josh. Yeah. And Josh Brody. Molina. Not, not, and, not, uh, not yeah, Josh Molina and Josh. Well, Josh Molina Josh got mad Jackson. at me on Twitter. Oh, really? Yeah, he was. Uh, they brought back Battle of the Network Stars. And he was, he, he ran funny. And I, I said, I go, and I jokingly said, I goes, Hey, I go, I, I go, I could watch you la- run all the time. Cause it was funny. And he, he just, he got mad. No. So I, like, I said, oh, I, you know, I was just joking. Jeez. Lighten up princess. Jeez. Francis. Francis. My name That's is the Francis. thing. I, I've never understood that. Like, you know, cause I think especially Chris and I, uh, you know, if we find that soft spot, we're just going to keep pushing on it until you either break or you just get over it. And so if you run funny or if you're bald, or uh, oh, you know, sure. we're just going to keep making fun of you until Dude, it's like, I, fuck you, fuck you. It, is, it, is, it has been four years since I didn't hit that man at the fucking Patriots game. So what the right. fuck are you guys talking about? Right. <laughs> what do you mean? You did uh, you hit him, right? <laughs> No. That's the way I remember it. I'm telling the story. Yeah, exactly. I still, I, I, he goes, so, I, he goes so, so I'm eating my hot dog, right? My 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 fucking eighteen dollar eighteen dollar hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog. And, and this this fucking asshole guy. I think he I think he was a, a Yankee. That's not fan. how you say it. This yeah. fucking asshole. Fucking this asshole. This fucking piece of shit. shit. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> It's not just cold cock, the motherfucker. He's probably from Quincy, like a little <laughs> yeah. motherfucker. Can we, <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> See, he's really living so, here right now. So yeah, you, you're pretty vivid on on something you said didn't happen, mm-hmm. <laughs> dude. I'm just doing a shitty Boston accent, <laughs> naming, <laughs> naming random cities that are from around here that you may or may not be aware of. Uh, <laughs> would you say Quincy's? What? What? It's a Quincy. suburb of, of Boston, Quincy? It's the south. It's, south it's Q U I N C Y. I think it's that's often a subway mispronounced chain. as Quincy, like as in but it's actually Quincy. I was actually on a call. For work not too long ago with a woman who lives in boston and i said hey i got a friend that lives in the boston area he calls himself boston but he really lives in providence and she was really where's he from i go frankly she's all fuck yeah he's from fucking providence and yeah. that's just- <laughs> you're not she's not wrong I'm <laughs> What's his name? chris because you know if, if you were if if we didn't know you and you said you're you're from Bo- i you don't sound like you're from boston that's the problem no i i i grew up in the western part of the state in in there's a, a lack of accent in that part of the, the world. It's very plain vanilla. Yeah. But 
it's interesting because there's like three or four different accents between Boston and Rhode Island, like Providence and then to New York and Long Island. Like Providence accent is kind of like a blend of Long Island and Mm. Boston together. Mm. AKA it's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> like it's fucking terrible. Um, but, but yeah, Bo- Boston has a unique Bostonian accent for sure. But yeah. Remember that time Chris got canceled because he's making fun of uh, Rhode Islanders. Did I? No. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, tried, I was like, going, I don't remember that. To the Rhode Island accent is, is so shit. Really? <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Anyone from Rhode Island in the chat? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like North. So. It's kind of like North Dakota in a way. Like how many? Aside from Chris, like how many people do you really know from Rhode Island? You know, it's, you know, I don't know. Anybody. It doesn't really happen, like, right? I can think off the top of my head. Well, the problem in, in here, in here it is. Like if, there. if anyone who listens to our show is from around, you're going to get mad at me, but you're also going to agree. The fact that. It's it's widely known in this area that however small Rhode Island is, you can drive across it 14 times in one day. Right. Um, but to get people to leave Rhode Island to go to Massachusetts is one of the logistically most difficult things to do because Rhode Islanders don't leave. Hmm. They are used They're to loyal having to the their- soil. They're loyal to the soil and to the, the area, and like they're they they refuse to leave. So, as someone who I, I hire a lot of people from different parts of the state and such, they um the people who who live in Rhode Island do not they do not want to drive thirty miles north to uh, work in one of my stores. You know, John, the retired guy, you, you realize there's no theme to the fucking show. After I love how John episodes. just shits on us every single week. Yeah. It's, it's every almost like he podcasts science man. Week, what are you going to do? You know? I demand <laughs> order. He talks it's shit just, about the show, but he is consistently it's, here. It's the one thing I can agree well, with, he, John, the retired I guy. Well, to be fair, he, 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 was the reason, he gave us the title of the episode a few weeks ago. He tries to give the title every week. I think it's an ongoing fan contest between <laughs> um, many of them. Between Chris and Fans. the audience. Yeah. Many. Well, no, I mean, just all the people in the chat and, and Chris. Listeners. <laughs> Listeners. Um, I like the, the name people. shit. Yeah. People. I'm good with nameology. Hey, yeah. since, uh, since Chris is here and <laughs> we're almost at an hour. What, you we want got- to leave? No, Let's we go. got we, we got Let's two emails up. from Randy last week oh. that uh, and Randy's could, not even here. Could be, I know. Could, could be potential Let's discussion topics. For, okay, okay. You want to save it? You want to save I was it? gonna, you know, no, no, no. earlier in the week I was gonna suggest a mm-hmm. uh, versus or something like that. Oh, I, okay, yeah, I got like busy. champagne versus. Well, this is yeah. this is not this, champagne. This is kind of one of those things. It's like red, uh, red versus white wine. Will says, uh, John, Rose. don't forget the erection fights. Erection fights. Um, we could those do reverses. Those, like, light, those are lightsaber fights. Uh, every you. one of you fuckers would watch that episode, and you fucking know it. So don't talk shit about it. That'd be amazing television. <laughs> what? A, what about like um, all, all one hundred eight people? Erections yeah. versus not erections. In your own, <laughs> oh. in your own channel. Oh, um, I haven't had that problem yet, Matt. I think Sorry. I think we just do. I think we just do the verses as Matt and Jack as the Amazing Race, you know, or nick and chris and we see who wins like who would the, who would the matter fans like? or it's just us i know that is true it's not a <laughs> I, i'm just throwing out ideas here that's what i'm doing that's better this than is why you lose like your ideas Randy's are shit you'd lose the goddamn contest <laughs> i don't think so this is my rebuttal stage Mm-mm. this is how i do the rebuttal thing yeah. that was it, well, it was it wasn't time for the rebuttal yet for, for one, <laughs> so so it was my Jack. It, it was me doing my best <laughs> Jack impression. Then. Uh, you, you failed. How many <laughs> how many languages do you speak? Uh, fluently. Yeah, fluently. One. Okay, me too. <laughs> I just was fucking with you. <laughs> I can understand three. Mm. I, I I actually did the Amazing Race in Vegas one time. We're, we're just wrong. we're just a couple years away from that AI translator, right? So you know, I, I understand that, that if a German is yelling at you, you mm-hmm. need to go the other way. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, 
That's all you need to know. I just give my last name and I'm, they're cool with me. Um, Real quick, I finished White Lotus season two. Oh, ah. I finally finished that. So my Jack, slow, did you finish it? My slow burn. Me? Yeah. I talk, season two. What, what I talked about it like three weeks ago. I thought you, you talked talk about, about it last you week. started watching it like, uh, mm. two weeks no, ago. No, no, I, I think you, I, I think you talked to maybe Nick about it. I, I popped off at no. some point. Is that what it was? Oh yeah, I finished yeah. it then. No, we oh, talked. Okay. About I, it. I accept your apology. I'm not apologizing. For I, I enjoy the, the the show and the <laughs> fact that it has these two different tonal seasons. You know, mm -hmm. um, and okay, what how, did you think? How what the different think? characters grew and didn't grow. Mm -hmm. um, bigger mysteries, I think. Like, what do you think um, happened between the couple? Do you think that? Um, oh yeah, I know Jack and I definitely talked about this. Oh, you think the the oh they the, totally fucked totally really totally yeah. yeah. That's why that I think that's why they I, they kept saying why did they bring us along? Why did they want anything in common? It was mm -hmm. to, they their goal was to get to sleep with the uh, the uh, that's what the plan the whole thing was. That's why she, I don't know if it was a plan. No, I was planned because that's why she took. That's why she took. Um, oh, walk. No, that's why she took her on the trip overnight trip to that place. Hmm. And she said, "Oh, we're staying the night. The boys hmm. will be by themselves." So that's why the whole the whole thing was. That's why they could, they said it like three or four times. We have nothing in common with them. Why are they bring them? You know, I don't know. That's hmm. what it was all about. Huh? You don't think so? No. Why would she? Why no. would she take her overnight on the thing and then? They have a thing because I think whole... she hates her husband. <laughs> why? Why I do I think? I... Why do I think? Who? Who do you? Th no, I think the. I think she's being honest with him, as he was honest with her when he was when he was pushed to the the point, like he actually revealed what actually happened that night, right? So, and I think as a as a newly couple, I think he was being honest with her at that moment, and I think she Which hit one? it from him up to a point and i think she was being honest but i think she, he actually fucked over the relationship by going out and sleeping with the the other um, i think they all i think she's you think they all a, fucked each other oh yeah a yeah, hundred percent yeah because huh. look at when after the they fight in the ocean yeah mm -hmm. you see him the the one guy i can't remember his name he was in D downton abbey he died right. and mary has sex with him and he dies right mm. um maybe maybe i'm like a optimistic glass half full kind look of at guy. watch go so. watch it again because he's laying back in the water he smiles mm -hmm. yeah he, he's, he's totally he, guilty yeah he he knew exactly that, that was the point because they kept saying because what what what's the point of them even being in the show <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like uh well, like i mean it, if they didn't to me it's badly written then because it's kind of like that scene in a uh, usual suspects where he goes, you know how, you know, how you catch a thief or catch a criminal is like you throw him in jail. The guy who's innocent to stay up all night. The guy who's guilty will catch him sleep, you know? And it's the same thing. It's like when, when the guy, when he hits him in the ocean and he lays back and then afterwards, if you're totally innocent and you really want to keep your friendship with someone, you would constantly mm -hmm. confess to your friend. I didn't fuck her. I did not do mm -hmm. anything. And the fact mm -hmm. that he doesn't tells me everything I need to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did think it was a tell that she, the way she interacted with him after that, I felt like it was like a flip in her character and the you're, fact that you're, she, you're she felt, idiot. she felt empowered to say that to him. So I felt like that was a tell on, on that part. But I also felt like his betrayal was the first betrayal. And was that just a whole setup with the wife? Okay. One other thing. That's the why she, that's why she took, that's why the she, moment, uh, the moment she hands her her phone to show her, her like, you know, her trainer or whatever, right? That she's seeing. Um, those kids are the trainers' kids. I don't know, like the the picture of the kids. They're blonde haired, right, right. blue eyed kids, right? Like, right. And really, and she had mentioned, yeah, and she yeah, had mentioned, yeah. like, oh, yeah, she was kind of in passing, just kind of mentioning, like, oh, he's blonde she, well, haired, she, blue eyed, blah blah blah. She has two trainer kids. that I have in the city. So and you're so, saying her ki her kids are the trainers' kids? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's oh, okay. heavily yep. implied in that scene. Okay. I, I yep. missed that completely. That, I, I, I think it's really subtle, that? but I but I think it's there if you're just if you're looking at the kids and you're realizing like, oh, they 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 don't look like. So is him. that why, is that why the kid. husband when the when one of the kids was saying something he went because <sighs> right. he knows they're not his. They're not kids. his. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that, I mean that's mm -hmm. that's with that couple though. You know they're messed up. That's how they right. keep their relationship alive is because they're. 
yeah, they, they're, yeah, they're they have role this, playing this and, and doing yeah, different stuff. Power, but yeah, that, that's why company. that's why they invited him on the trip. They wanted to mm. sleep with, with well, the other two. Yeah, huh. interesting. Well, um, because there's no other reason to have him on the show. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. And uh, you know, I wanted to see it as kind of like a like a positive kind of kind of you know different. I don't know. But you're you're probably absolutely right on that. Because look at the end when they all sat. They, they come and the, and, after and the all airport. that. It's, yeah. it's kind of it, not the airport. The the dinner table. It, it, yeah, kind right. of, it kind of also goes back to, I think, the first season and the fact that these people in many ways don't change. You know, these people like their lives are either kind of getting worse or going sideways in a way, you know, because they're they're following these, um, you know, different paths or whatever that they've they've found on this vacation. I mean, even the the I did like the generational aspect of the the father son and the grandfather and just like their relationship with women and how that played out and the power plays that that occurred between the son and the father. I thought that was like really just a fascinating kind of like and you saw the power plays by the played time. by the fucking prostitutes. Well, like, and dude, that too, right? And, and that even too. the sleepers in this whole thing, like man, now, like those two were amazing. Yes. And Both of them. She she has a particular skill set that I was like, Jesus Christ. Now you think she she <laughs> fucked over the she fucked over the son the yeah son yeah to get back to the dad to get to the dad right who said stay away from my son but right I think that's yeah, what he she got decided. her she got his money that's when mm-hmm. I, I said okay she that's why she did it was because there's because what's his name I and I knew I he knew would've, he would have he would have given I knew her the, the money. moment that like there was that guy that she ran into in the out I knew that was yeah. a setup I was like oh, this absolutely. is a whole. This yeah. is like she knows. She never had guy. a she never had a pimp before. Mm, no, exactly. Right, right, right. So, um, I I will say that the the one aspect that I like about their story is that they are they are essentially the natives of this this country, right? And you have all of these these tours. There's a whole there's a whole separation of of wealth and. You know, wealth and poverty. Hey, in that show. Colleen. Happy um, 300. It's 200, but appreciate That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's awesome. But okay. Wait, so, how many have we done beyond? Didn't we have? Oh, have we done more than 200? We have, we, oh, well, absolutely. It's, it's well more. We've done 200 more. RCADs, but we've done, you think, right. you think about Ramblecast and Married Man. And, right, like, right, 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 right. It was, remember, it's because we. we it, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. We I started in March. I don't know how many. I don't know so how many podcasts I've done with Jack. It's been a while. Jack, two hundred um, and one. And well, Jack and <laughs> Jack and I have at least done several other podcasts as well. We're probably close so. to a thousand. No, probably not. Thousand. Matt, you've podcasted with more people not in this show in recently than uh, with. <laughs> so <laughs> what? Do, what do you mean? What do, what do you? What do you mean? <laughs> Are we done with White Lotus talk? I was talking about White Lotus and I was making a really great point about race and you know ethnicity and the people that live in a place. But go ahead. We'll just talk about other stuff. So let's get let's get to the uh the other hooker, not the the one Chris loves. Um when the singer? Yeah, the singer. When she yeah. hospitalized the other piano player. Right, right, right. When you first see it, you think, is this an accident? Or not, you know, because it oh. could have been a, it could have been a simple mistake. But then you're like, as she it knows, plays she, out, you're she, like, she, she, she has to know what a Viagra looks like. Exactly, because that other I mean, you, was obviously Nick, you don't because like, you think it's insulin. But it's, yeah, it's insulin. Yeah. <laughs> My house doesn't get that big. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, I, I, I yeah. She, always, well, she was you know, she was the better singer. Well, she was the better singer, but like you know, she seemed to be the more. If there was an angel of the show, it was her because she was. She the seemed one, like the innocent one, the innocent but, one. Yeah, but she was also fucking conniving. It was pretty mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, I tapped out. I'm so spoiled of the show. All Lisa, come back. This prostitutes were amazing. A particular skill set. I'm going to assume you're still yeah, I, I, yes. I'll, I'll be, yes. I'll be crass about it. I'll be crass about it. I don't give a shit. She <laughs> gave one of the most amazing on-screen blowjobs that I've ever fucking seen in, on TV <laughs> that wasn't actual porn. I, think like, that's it, I was like, I think that's Jesus. Jesus. Christ. You know, at one, at one sure point, that, I said, wait, is that new Reagan? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Mike, have a new winner. Like, yeah. Jesus, <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Well, you no, would know. Well, you would know those well, black and white movies, right, Jack? But, I mean, but exactly. You know. But after that, you're like, okay, okay he's going to give her any amount of money she wants. Yeah, I would. 
<laughs> Dad, can I have a hundred million dollars? You're not going to believe the blowjob I like, just got. Woo. Okay. Swipe okay. Card. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not a slot. Sherry, um, we'll do that. Sherry, we'll do this when we're talking about, about how this. How about the other story, which also like in, encompasses the one character from season one, mm-hmm. who I really enjoyed, and I. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and season one was written with her with that actress in mind for that that role Dude, we haven't even fucking so. talked about her yet like yeah. of like the the fucked up shit of the, all these stories like yeah like sorry that sherry was, that was crazy 50k and she'll make you see god <laughs> <Yeah>. oh god <laughs> um you know who she was she kept calling your name <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, that whole side story was just wild of how yes. the man, like yeah. completely wild. And like even even the fucking opportunistic side of of her her secretary, who was like the angel of that story. Assistant. Yeah. Assistant. Whatever. Oh, uh, I, I, I hated her just because she screwed over the kid, you know. What's yeah. her name? Yeah, she's Albie. getting your own. Albie, like, I don't know. Chelsea or Albie. She was on her own. Yeah, yeah. I have no I have no problem with like like how that went down. She didn't no, feel fuck that. With him. She was wow. supposed to hang out with him and she's she all was. like flirt yeah. with him at that party up top. And yeah. he was sitting there like fuck, I'm here and wait. He he came to meet up with her because she invited him and she goes up there and hangs yeah, out she, with fucking she, she screwed, she screwed I I liked their story. I liked their story as as it unfolded and as it ended with those two and oh, the conversation I told her they have to fuck because... off. No, yes. I, I okay. want to tell her to fuck yes. off. Yes. But 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 I think we we as, as we know she out. cost him 50 grand. Yeah. <laughs> well, her dad he, he, when she was at her lowest point legitimately cost him $50,000. Yeah. When she was at her lowest point when you know basically no one was talking to her, you know, uh, the he was there. Kept, he was there. He was the one that actually said, "Hey, come have breakfast with me. Hey, let's hang out. Let's be a human being." And then what did she do? She treated him like a piece of shit. She did. Uh, she did. So I, I I disagree. But I think I think she realized I think she realized her mistake. Obviously, yes. <laughs> if she I, didn't do that, he would have saved fifty k. Let's just say that mistakes were made on on on. He, it on wasn't part. his. He okay. didn't lose fifty thousand. What mistakes? 50, what mistakes did he make? Actually, I'm curious what your what your thoughts are on that. The only mistake he, he was made boring was, was trusting a hooker with a heart of gold. I just, I just didn't see a very, connection he, with them early on. I just didn't see it, but and all I saw was we this guy on. like pursuing her. But so that's why, that's why I say this season's was, all about lust because, yeah, you know, uh, because she got into lust with the the meathead, uh, and then that just dictated sure. her decision making from that point. Sure, on. and she it did. But look, what I enjoy is that these two characters at the end of this season come to this kind of life conclusion and have this this moment which i to me felt felt honest to something that you go through in your 20s when you fuck up you make a mistake and you're with someone or you're Wait not a minute, with hold on. And- like no way because no, like I'm, that I'm this just, is not I, your run of the mill 20s i fucked up she was part of a fucking international murder mystery and he got okay, embezzled yes. on a 50k and a nut but, <laughs> but remember, who but hasn't remember, had this happen how did they set out the- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what you have that summer set, abroad, how did they set you, up he was the you, guy that he was going to get his i mean the only way he, his, his mom and dad were getting back together if albie chose to help Right, he's he's just one of those guys. He's just so him getting screwed over by the girl. He just he's just one of those guys. He, we got screwed over a lot. He just kind of like, well, you know, that's easy who work. I am. That's who I am. And you well, know, they could they could live ha- they could live happily ever after. It. Hopefully, he'll learn from it. So hopefully, he doesn't fall off a boat and hit his head. Which, what, by the way, was fucking hilarious. <laughs> that was awesome. But <laughs> after all of that. After all of that, that. <laughs> Okay, you got this. <laughs> the, the fucking ADR sound effect that they did. There's somebody in a studio that oh. took like a fucking like a burial really? urn and whacked it against the wall. <laughs> oh now, man! You think you think that she just should, should have went to the bottom of the boat and just jumped in the water and swam to the boat? I think I she was know. way too too. She you know. I mean, she because was freaked you know, out. Like, but, but you know what? She's she's not a good she's not a good person either. Uh, well, I, I don't know. I, I mean, she's not she's not a good person. 
She was she was a total dick in the first one. She set that one girl up and said, "Hey, I'm yeah. gonna set you up in your own business." And then what happens? She again she meets, uh, again, she meets none uh, of these Roger. People, uh, none of these people are Roger Roger Workman. Roger Workman. <laughs> Roger Workman. Goes, Workman. Okay, none of these people are perfect in the show. None of them are. Well, she's no. far from perfect, and she and, treats and she and, treats the assistant like crap. Because I and the whole show I, is is based on the premise of, premise of this resort in which these mm. these people come to and. There is this weird alienation of high versus low or, or high versus like the, the people that live there. I mean, you see it in the Hawaii and you see it in this where, um, yeah, the, the the escorts, you know, they're just trying to make a living for well, they're, this. They're making, a, they're making a pretty damn good living. Well, OK. They're all uh, selfish. They, yeah. Ro, anyway, they're, they're flawed people. Ro so. in the comment, but, but everyone's on what I was talking about. Uh, so Rose says, yeah. I heard, yeah, I heard someone say that White Lotus is going to get seven seasons. Each one could be about the seven deadly sins. Yeah, that's mm. been my theory for I don't know what three, four weeks now, guys. Yeah. Is that you know that's it, it didn't it dawn on me until I started watching season two. But you know the first season's about uh, pride, and then the second one's about lust. And so then then Chris informed me a few weeks back that you know the third season's going to be in mm. South Asia, South and it's going to be more mm. about death. And so. Yes death and uh i guess remorse or something so like we're Race. we're theorizing yeah we're, we're theorizing it's and gonna it, be about is, wrath. does yeah. albie and does albie come back i doubt it but i don't yeah they probably might have one reoccurring character yeah well it would be interesting if we see the husband now again i want to see the prostitutes no, well, <laughs> I mean, the but husband, I'm, I think, I'm, has to be in it. Yeah, he has to kind of because he would have inherited the husband, he would have inherited everything. Yeah, inherit everything. Yeah, so so it's it almost kind of seemed likely that he might be the one that's going down mm-hmm. to like you know, right? So I don't know. I mean, it, it'll be uh, an interesting way that they twist it. Um, but I, I do think that there's there's it. I, it's odd that there's not a lot of people of color in the show. So, okay. what? It, no, it just, it just have all okay. the thoughts. I didn't like, even think about no, that. No, I mean, like, it, it's right just away. something that, like, it, and I think it goes back to, like, this dis- disparity of, like, this. The, but so I think, and I'm hoping that we see more people of color in the. Well, you know, there's going to be in Southeast Asia, you'll get some, eight, you know, uh, sure. Because if it's in Thailand, sure, but, for example, I don't have no idea where it's going to be, yeah. but we'll get some of that. I didn't even <laughs> think about that. Well, I mean, and that's what I'm trying to say about like the the Hawaii, and you have you have natives that live there, and you have this separation of of, of white or just wealth wealthy people. Well, and, it's it's you know. rich versus mm-hmm. middle class poor. So, and I mean, you see it play out more with the staff, and that's kind of like the 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 other side story. Sorry that we've talked about White Lotus so much. I mean, you know, we could. No, it's a good topic. Star, I mean, Star it's Wars. worth it. I mean, the show the show has been, been good. For, it's know. been really like well. Well done. So, so yeah, season, sure, sure, John, the retired guy. Maybe they can. I don't know, but <laughs> there should just be more diversity. I think so, unless that's what the show is trying to show us. You know, so white people are trash, or maybe that's where they came the wealth with, that comes maybe from. Maybe they came out the resort, White Lotus. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. I don't know. So. Speaking of Very other good. shows, though, um, you know, not not a whole lot of good TV has been on. February is always kind of a slow month, but uh, you know, uh, Shrinking on Apple's is, is worth a watch. It's kind of just a cute That's show. With, uh, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, and uh, I always forget the other guy's name. The guy was in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Oh, mm. uh, and, Siegel. Uh, Siegel, Siegel, yeah, Siegel. Siegel, Siegel. He's the main guy in it. And you know, to, to get to, if you guys don't know what the show's about, basically, Harrison Ford owns a uh, ranch. Site. A, yeah, he owns a now he owns a uh, a that's the other one a company okay. full of shrinks full of uh, psychologists or psychiatrists and Jason Siegel's character uh, in the very first thing you see in the first episode is he's tired of kind of faking it to clients of like hmm because you know you're supposed to allow the patient to figure out the solution on their own you know but he's just like okay leave your fucking husband <laughs> you know he just like erupts he's like I'm tired of skating around the fucking thing you know like and so he just kind of starts doing it in a different approach and so from that point it flips to this other patient who's a, a kid who's been assigned mandatory therapy because he got to a fight and uh it's it's just a oh that's harrison a, ford no harrison ford's just kind of 
he is a main character, but he's kind of more of like a, a grandpa oh, okay. figure in the show. Because when you think comedy, you don't think Harrison Ford. No, I mean, but he, he does have a, a pretty, uh, like the funniest he thing does. he's, the funniest thing he uh, did so far is he's walking in the park with Jason Siegel's daughter, who's like, you know, 16, 17 on the show. And he goes, and she goes, hey, did you meet up with blah, 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 blah? He goes, no, nah, she raw dogged me. And she goes, looks at you, goes, what do you think that means? <laughs> and she goes, she left me standing here. You know, and he goes, yeah. You know, like, and then, and then he walk, and then she shows up later and he looks at her and goes, don't you ever raw dog me again? <laughs> like, they're all just looking at him like. <laughs> okay, now I understand uh, John the Retired Guy's joke there. Yeah, I was like, yeah, like, yeah. I was like, like what is that about? I don't know. Yeah. Thanks for explaining. But speaking that. another Harrison Ford show, uh, 1923, if you guys haven't watched it yet. Uh, I keep good. I they keep just, searching it, but getting the wrong year. Yeah, it's, it's tough. But uh, if you haven't seen it's Yellowstone, tough. you can you can still you can still watch it. I, I you can watch it without seeing it. But they just had the cliffhanger. Uh, uh, the season finale. I'm like going, wait, what? That's the cliffhanger. Oh, so it's one okay. of those cliffhangers. Like going, okay, this wasn't Dallas. Oh, JR. Mm. okay. I mean, it's a good, it's a great show. But I, th- I thought we had still at least a couple more episodes. It um. So the, how many episodes? Eight. Eight, I think, I believe. Okay, mm-hmm. so like a like a Mandalorian season. Yeah, there's not the, the guy that does it. Was it Tyler? What's his name? Whatever he is, he does the Yellowstone. He does. He did 1983. 18, no, 1883. Yeah, that's what I mean. Every time 19, I search these years, I'm just like, what, what, what year is this again? He does them all, but uh, this is an excellent show. I think you guys should watch it. I watched the first couple episodes because I don't I don't have Paramount Plus. But you know, I watched it with my folks because they had it. But. Yeah, it's it's a good show. Sure. Uh, thank you, um, Matt Trees. Also, I started season three of Secession, and I'm so just oh finished the third season. Third, oh, third episode. Oh, third episode. Okay. Third episode. So shrinking mm-hmm. is um. I was in the pool. The, <laughs> that was created by Brett Goldstein. Really, Roy Kent from Ted Lasso. Oh, oh, okay. oh. yeah. Um, you watch Ted Lasso? Um, <laughs> and J- Jason C- Jason Siegel and and Bill uh, Brett Goldstein actually created that. I, I actually read a story about that recently. That um, uh, Goldstein, Holy I think he had, wrote, he had he had written the script for it, and like he had sent it out for people to read. Blah blah blah. And apparently, um, Harrison Ford reached out to him. And it was like trying to get in touch with him. He got in touch with his, with his like his his agent, and then got a, received a phone call from Harrison Ford, like like at a, at a dinner party or something. And he fucking didn't answer it. <laughs> and then like twenty minutes later, apparently like, I might be I, 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 I might be butchering the story, but like it it goes along with it. But like he was like saying like I guess he got another phone call from his agent, and his agent was like. Don't ever fucking hang up or not pick up the phone when Harrison Ford calls you ever the fuck again. <laughs> um, and and that was how they ca- <laughs> that's how they no that's how they got Harrison Ford in the show because he eventually got in touch with Brett Goldstein and was like this is one of the best scripts I've ever read. And so Harrison to Ford wanted to be on the show. Yes. Oh. So Harrison oh. Ford and did okay did he know Harrison Ford was calling him and and, and didn't pick up yeah he said he goes Harrison Ford's going to call you I, I, this i i'm i read this story somewhere it was like i liked in the last couple of weeks he's like Harrison Ford's going to call you um you got to take the call and he then he didn't believe him but then he got started getting a phone call from somebody he'd never known before and he like ignored it mm-hmm. and his agent called back and was like don't fucking ignore that call <laughs> when Harrison <laughs> Ford calls you you fucking answer the phone <laughs> Um, and apparently, the guy had, just tried to call his fucking yeah, guy. Apparently, Harrison Ford <laughs> okay. was like in love with the script and was like, "I want to be a." Well, part how, of how they want me to do the that, that's, that's how they get got the him. script. How do you get the script? Probably through his agent or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I cool. that was kind of cool. He's got a good agent. <laughs> I mean, he got him he Indiana Jones. Movies. He got him Star Wars. <laughs> that agent's killer. American Graffiti. <laughs> yep. I mean, I don't want to put a witness to this. Uh, six days, seven nights. Six days, seven nights. Yeah, yeah. But this—he's more than just a fugitive. He's—he's <laughs> he's a president on Air Force. In the United States. One. Yeah. I mean, geez, oh, the guy can uh, do everything. A show we haven't talked about in a while because 
Chris hasn't been here, and we've kind of all been one episode out. Yeah, uh, Chris. Is, uh, the last I missed one us. week, fuckers. <laughs> you were only gone I mean, one week? I, you thought Chris I was hasn't been bad. here. Um, it longer. His fault. Well, well, we haven't talked about The Last of Us in a while. Um, I oh, know, yeah. Chris, oh. I think Chris and I talked about I, I, I like, haven't, the first I haven't week, watched any of it yet. You guys can have your The show's fucking awesome. Like, Chef's Kiss. That is a great show. I'm going to just... I'm waiting till the last episode, then I'm going to watch them all. Okay. That's. I, I, I'm just like, fuck it. I'm not going to watch boring. it once a week. Yeah, I, that's not boring. <laughs> I got other shows I'm watching. Re-watching it's really, it's right really now. confusing because I'm always like, is this the very last of this? <laughs> uh, <did> well, <laughs> so, so <laughs> funny joke. Um, however, they. <laughs> <laughs> That was the nicest they, thing you've they, ever they, said. They did, they did mention that they're not going to veer off of any content that's not tied to the game. So like anything that oh. hasn't happened in the game, they're not going to approach that topic. Um, so I believe that's going to be... Uh, a joke? Well, no, there wasn't a joke. I'm, I'm saying because he joke. said... You said funny joke? I was no, he was saying his funny said. joke. Me. Oh, oh. oh me credit. Okay. It, it, was, it was a backhand compliment slash ridicule. This is um, one thing that we can agree on, Chris. It's solid. It, There's another solid. one of those fucking you, things. You got to be careful, Matt. Solid You're like glasses. a turd. He's, he's not afraid to punch someone with glasses on. Yeah, <laughs> no. Seriously. Would you punch a guy with a crippled hand? <laughs> yeah. I think and glasses? For, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. What an asshole. <laughs> what if I had a cane? <laughs> oh, that's he fucking take, bonus he would take points. The, he would take the cane. If I'd you beat you with your own fucking cane. <laughs> It's crazy. I forgot what the fuck uh, we were talking about. We were talking about Last of Us. Uh, last of us. Oh, Last the, of Us. Yeah, yeah. The so, very last so, of us. Funny, so, so, you were going to tell I, a funny joke. Yeah. Do the I, joke. They, they, they have no interest joke. in extending it past the, what the concept of the, of the game joke. is, apparently. So. Well, you know, there's only two games right now. And, and you know, they're going to do two seasons, I know for sure. But, the, you know, they're, yeah. they're, they're rushing through this fucking Each thing. one, each of the games will actually be based on one of the seven deadly sins. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you guys ever watch um what's it, uh Ted Lasso? It's so no, good. Lasso. It's Ted coming Lasso back. Excellent. But Chris doesn't watch on West Wheel. Um the what's that? Graham Mash. Norton. Graham Norton. Graham Norton. You ever watch a Graham Norton show? Yes. Oh, the show? Yes. Yeah. I thought he was a podcaster. Well, what's, what's his name was on uh what who's the last of us and Mando uh, Pedro Pascal. Pedro. I he actually heard him. Re- he, I heard him read his own name out loud, and he 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 pronounced his own name as Pedro. 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 He Pedro. he talks about how he got the part. He didn't. They he he took a Ambien or something for it. They called him said he got the part. When he woke up the next day, he didn't remember getting the part. Right. Yep. So, oh. so they called him back up, and he's like going, "Wait, what?" He's, he's like going. It was it was pretty funny story. If you haven't seen oh, it, go on uh, balls last YouTube night, and uh, watch it. How he got the part and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty yeah. fascinating. Yep. And he, also, he, also the uh, he never heard of the game. And his uh, he called his uh, his uh, sister and his nephews go. You gotta do that. You gotta do that. It's a great show. So oh, you yeah. saw the uh, you saw the SNL the Mario Kart <coughs> sketch. Didn't so, you? Good. so good, so good, uh, yeah, so good. Yeah, his, his, off, skits, like, his SNL episode was fucking hilarious. Was great, yeah. But I was like, oh, Chris, I mean, my Jack, it starts off like you saw Pedro escort Grogu back to Luke Skywalker. You know, <laughs> you saw him escort this girl in The Last of Us. He goes, now watch him escort someone else. And it's like, you know, like he's doing Mario Kart. It's like, they called me Mario. <laughs> you know, and like he, he <laughs> have the cart, you know, and it's like. It's it's pretty good. Yeah, I saw the one where he breaks he breaks character. He, he broke like, character like all of this the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> the one where he's a doctor or something like that, and well, the one where laughing. she's trying he to comes cut back that tough snake on the yeah. yeah. Pedro, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, Will Fry says the SNL Mario Kart movie looks better than the real Mario movie. <laughs> <laughs> For real, <laughs> and, and honestly, when I was watching, it, but I thought kind of thought the same thing. Like legitimately, <laughs> right. it looks way I, better. I, I would kind of watch that. Yeah, like, why not? yeah. <laughs> And that's yeah, how Pe- SNL movies used Pedro to be. Pedro Pascal is, is like is like the he's like the the hot new thing right now. He and that's all over everything. It, and By the way, funny. if anybody's we... wanting to like get him into a role and they're listening to this podcast because clearly they know the ins, you just need to get to his nephews. Cause clearly yeah. if his yeah. if he calls up and he's like, Hey, so what we, do you we think get... of this? 
we got to get his nephews to start listening to our podcast. Ah. But we can get him as guest. Yeah, you gotta do that. You gotta do that. <laughs> Why yeah, would you subject that, my yeah, child to this much? But you know, his <laughs> his story is really interesting in that you know he's been acting for a long time, but he mm-hmm. could only get like very small, nothing roles on like TV shows, and uh, he actually was going to quit acting until he got the Game of Thrones role, and that's mm-hmm. what kind of launched him. Mm-hmm. Have we? Did, did, have I told you like my friend's connection to that story? No, I don't. Oh. Think so. You punched him? No, you one of my coworkers him. was like at a house party in fucking Providence, Rhode Island, and he was there, and oh. he, he was sitting on the couch, and he was just, he was just like talking to him pre Game of Thrones, and he was saying exactly what you just said, mm-hmm. and it was like I don't know if I'm gonna do this anymore. Like I'm just not getting the roles I need to get. Like his biggest I role was like being Buffy the Vampire, Buffy stuff. the Vampire, so yeah, mm-hmm. one episode, right? yeah. And uh, he's like, I'm just, I don't just don't think I'm gonna do this anymore. And and my, my buddy Pete's like, I remember having that conversation to this day. Like he was like, that's he crazy. was like down and out he, and he, like a depressed, he, depressed at, like former actor type of thing. He was great in um, that Yeah, he's awesome. He's, a, he's just a great actor. Mm. But you know, just you got it, it's not so much talent. It's it's like who you know, and then sure. Getting well, that, and that, that persistence, break. you know, of like. You know, Brandon staying, Fraser staying in there and and yeah. you know waiting for that role. Well, that's what it's like. What I was talking about with um, oh, shit, I forget his name, uh, Tyrion, you know, from Game of Thrones. Uh, mm. Okay, same thing. Like him, like he he had been acting for a long time as well. And but he like a lot of actors, you know, you, when you're starting, you kind of have this chip on your shoulder, like oh, I only want serious roles. Like, I want, I want to be taken as a serious actor. And yeah, he'd been in a few things like Elf. And a few things where he had, you know, kind of made a name for himself, but he just wasn't getting. Was anything. he in Time Bandits? <laughs> He's a little too young for Time Bandits, but <laughs> really, yeah. okay. Uh, for some reason, I thought okay. Time Bandits is like a forty-year-old like, movie, dude. It's like eighty-three, dude. Yeah, or eighty-four. Okay, well, everything's just recent to me. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though I do love some Time Bandits, I'm just saying it's a it's a bit old for him. But uh, yeah, but that's the thing. He's like, he finally, I, I don't know, I've told you this before. Like, he finally just went to his agent and was like, okay, forget everything I've ever said. Like, anything comes my way, I'm going to take it. He goes, I just want to be a working actor. That's it. Yeah. I just want to be a working actor. And then he goes, sure enough. And then that's exactly when Game of Thrones came along. And it was like, and then now, you know, he's been nominated for what uh, uh, the Emmys, like, I think basically every season for his role was Tyrion. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, you can't, you can't be. Uh picky you have to take whatever is out there sometimes you have to take the good and the bad (laughs) and the ugly (laughs) and there you have the facts of life the facts that's true john uh john says history of the world part two starts monday which i i i really i'm rooting for it because i love history of the world part one um but we'll see you know it's quite the cast yeah but you know, you wonder just because Mel Brooks of his age, like how much of a role did he have in it? You know, because uh, you know, Probably I know not. he had tons of actors or other writers writing stuff, and if it doesn't have that Mel Brooks feel to it, then I don't think it's going to be successful. But Mel Brooks is still funny. The only problem is he was he was uh, he stayed home a lot with COVID. I mean, when COVID was out, he wasn't right. out and about. So I, yeah, I, I hope it's he good. might have sat at home. Yeah, and wrote it. Yeah, you don't know. I mean, he's he's he's. Well, the way that still, it he's still old he's still people, funny. If, if you had, you know, you know, uh, lung lung problems or around smoking, I mean, oh, yeah. you know, it's um. Anyway, so I just movie, want to so point you're out the movie's going to suck. The time ban well, came out. I did. I I did part, the crunch. The four part. Yeah. I did the crunch. Yes, he's not in Time Bandits. Okay, so I was. Well, I, was I knew that. I was, but Time Bandits came out in 1991, and his first role. Time Bandits, no. did not, Time Bandits came out in 1984. 1984. Yes, it was a handmade uh, productions by George Harrison. It came out in the early 80s. Oh yeah, sorry, I misread that. 81. Okay. So I'm oh, oh, I'm off yeah. by a decade then. Because <laughs> he his years. first role was in 1991. Ah okay. So for starting starting acting, but. Yeah. You know, many art actors start off in small roles until they get yeah. that. Yeah, because George George I, uh, uh, has a song in Time Bandits. Right. Seen. Have you guys ever seen the movie The Conspirator? I'm sure you've no. seen it. You probably don't like it because the it's who shot the conspiracy to shoot uh, Lincoln and 
when they hang uh when they hang uh when they hang uh what's her name uh what's her name robin pin she's the actress in it oh she, okay uh her son was actually conspiracy anyway long story short we're watching this movie and it came out in 2012 so he go, kept saying i think i've seen this movie before i go I've never seen it. Did you? You wouldn't. This is not a movie you'd watch without me. I don't think she goes. No, I've never seen. It. About towards the end of the movie, I go. Oh, wait a minute. I have seen this movie. <laughs> watch this whole damn movie. If you haven't seen it though, it's a it's a really good movie. And uh, Nick, again, you won't like it because they they round up the people that shot Lincoln and killed him, and they hang them because you know. I, I, it's you the know, first I, the first uh, female that was I think executed. Yeah, what was her so. name? Um, Matt Treese, what was her name? I'm drawing a blank on her name. Mary. Mary. She owned a boarding house, and she was yeah. she was from, from the she, South. And she, right. and she uh, I mean, I knew this the whole thing. Conspir- yeah, it, it was a conspiracy yeah. theory. Yeah, because mm-hmm. they were supposed to kill Johnson and Lincoln and, you know, and, uh, and, and Seward. Mr. Seward. Yeah. Seward, whatever his name is. But yeah, I just went um, down the rabbit hole. Uh, Did you find any rabbits? Fidget from Time Bandits. Yeah, it's R two D two. Yeah, and most I mean, most of Katie them. Baker. Yeah, most yeah. of the people who were in uh, Time Bandits were also Ewoks. Star Wars and Ewok. Yeah. Oh, really? I knew there yeah. was an Ewok connection there. And the Ewoks yeah. suck. Uh, John, anyone watch Night Shift yet? No. Wait, wait. No. I said don't get him started on Night Shift. Like, don't, no, don't. We, why are we going down this Night Shift? When have they gotten time to watch Night Shift? I mean. This guy it's just an hour and like it's like an hour and twenty five minute Disney. movie, hour and thirty okay. movie. Just pop it in. Just, just and watch I just it, finished man. watching White Lotus. We have Jeff, and I've seen it before. Seven years to watch <laughs> Das Boot. I I did it and it loved it. Years. I don't have I seven years. Wait for you to watch it. I don't have seven like years it. for this podcast. <laughs> I mean, we have two. It's two hundred episodes in the can. Did you ever read the emails? It's just a num- It's just a number. <laughs> Did you ever read the emails? No, we rambled. That's what we <laughs> no, do. Because I, no, I, I was set ready to go, and then but, you fuckers just kept talking. I wait, like, okay, you, think about you fuckers! It was these two down here. I, th- I think we we have time. Let's do. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. All right. What, well, do you, what do you got? We have blame. three. We have three. The tranny gave us our discussion topics. And okay, well, let's three. discuss them. We will okay. knock them out. Let's discuss right. one. Okay. I like Chris. Randy's like, first oh. one says, title is Winter Activities. We know what Matt's doing. Uh, um, sledding. Hi, Nick, Jack, Matt, and the Mouseketeer. Uh, which of the following winter activities is your favorite? Skiing, ice skating, sledding in jeans, or <laughs> randile? Oh, no, oh, no one's no, going he, down on you, Randy. He's just writing his name as Randall. <laughs> like, who is from? Yeah. I'm like, what? I think it's. Uh, I'm going to go. With, I'll, I'll start. I'm going to go with skiing. I used to be a ski instructor back in the day. I love skiing. I haven't been in years because I just don't have time. But um, skiing is fantastic. It's one of the best. Like, or, or snowboarding or whatever downhills like uh snow sports you're interested in it's just it's amazing to get outside and there's it's amazing travel opportunities too so if you can get around to check out new places to go skiing it's a lot of fun so skiing is my number one i would say for me um snow skating if, if i get if i can skate on a frozen river somewhere someday mm-hmm. before i die that would be that's my ultimate dream is to skate down frozen, a frozen, river. frozen river. Uh-huh. you ever see you guys ever seen mystery alaska <laughs> No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. And when he he starts out and he's skating yeah. down the uh, frozen, I would right. love to do that. That's my goal someday. But I say skiing is I always unless I'm playing hockey, mm. just skating mm. for the sake of skating in a circle and skating. Nah, I'm did boring. Yeah. Did did Randall Dial just pick all of the things that he knew we would answer with skiing, skiing, skating, and sledding? But I would um, I would I would choose skiing. I well, yeah, I mean, in like 25, 30 years. So I guess that just leaves Nick as the mystery meat here. Yeah. I don't know. Like, meat. I as well enjoy skiing, but I'm also extremely lazy. So if I could just <laughs> use a. They have a, a lift. If I could, yeah, if, if I, yeah, if I have a, no, a tube, if I have just a tube, 
and go down that way. Or uh, that's, not, that's not skiing. Ooh, that's, that's not skiing. That's tubing. That's <laughs> I know, but I'm saying like, I like that, skiing. Skiing requires some physical. You, ju- you just don't want to. You just don't <laughs> so want to say like, that. If I can team. just sit and then just go mm. down the hill, that's and then called have fucking someone... sledding. Yeah, then that's that's. Funny. He says you used to want to say you're on my team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Someone's listening to my good that jokes here. All right. On, um, mm-hmm. I don't want the sled. I don't, you know. Okay, what's the other topic? Let's knock it out. You didn't pick. I, you... I did. It's clearly sledding. And, and, and okay. Nick's All on right. my team now. So, All right. you guys, we're, we're over here on team. <clears> what's the next topic? Chris this, will, this, will, this, will, this will make Matt happy because <laughs> it's ethnic. Because um, of what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just messing with you. Um, so the title is called Ethnic Cuisine. Mm. Can you hear me, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> I just saw you put something down, so I wasn't sure if you like ripped Not, your headphones off. Like, no, I, I moved my headphones, oh, but I don't know why right. me like Hi, Hungry Jack, is... Munching okay. Matt, Noshing Nick, and the Crab Eater Chris. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I, I mean, I do like crab. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. What's your favorite ethnic food cuisine? Uh, define mm-hmm. as you wish, but let's say non-traditional American. Okay. And then what is your favorite dish of that cuisine? Mm. Hangry Hank. But it's from Randy. I fucking love Mexican food. Um, I love all Mexican food. And I mean... Tacos are amazing because you can have so many yeah. different ways of having tacos and or indoor burritos because you have so many different combinations and, and it's options. Portable. It's portable. It's like a it's yeah. like a, a container. I, I I love and you can Mexico. there's so many different options. Um that's a good one. I think um, the range of like styles of Mexican food can be mm. so wild too, because you can go anywhere from like you know, I mean corn, you start, beef, beans. Yeah, too. <laughs> Awesome. Mexican food for sure. Um, hmm. Carne asada. Oh, I fucking love carne asada. Yeah. So good. My mom's husband Just, makes like, that. Not, not oh the fake God. shit, like real carne asada. No, I, yeah, like, my, my, my mom's you know. husband barbecues it. Mm. Oh. It's, it's so fucking good. I, it's one thing I really yeah. miss about being in San Diego is really good carne asada. Yeah. Hmm. I also like Indian food. Mm-hmm. So, um, oh, Indian's a good choice. Yeah, oh, a um, like, a, like a really good curry chicken. Curry chicken, yeah. Um, you know, over rice or um, they I make like these. Fries. They make they make these dough balls. I can't remember the name of them, but they're basically like a donut. You know, but it's also kind of mm-hmm. like a. It's not like glaze, like a like a like what we have donut holes, but they're really they're really delicious. Um, so Indian fare in general, I would. I'm, Always down uh, for gulab, Chinese food. Gulab, gulab is the uh, gulab's those donut things. Oh, oh gulab. okay, I got okay. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for looking that up. Jack, you're going with Chinese. Oh, gulab. Sorry, gulab. gulab is, I'm, I'm going Mexican food, but Chinese food is I like a lot of Chinese food. Okay, Chinese food. Yeah, I'm, but I, I, so I'm, so here's the thing though, like the Chinese food that we have. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Nick. No, no, I'm no, sorry. Good, that's fine. The, the Chinese food that we have is not Chinese food. No, no, nowhere near it. Well, yeah. they, they they say it's Chinese food. So it's I, not. Yeah. I'm not gonna, it's, I'm not it's, argue. it's soaked in MSG and oil and grease. It's and, fucking yeah. delicious. It's, it's delicious. But that's a lot. But a lot of Mexican. <laughs> food, a lot of Mexican food here is not Mexican. True Mexican. Right. Well, there's different kinds 100%. of Mexican. That's You're the right. thing. Is that you know? Like, yeah. I, we've had this discussion too. Like where I grew up, I only knew Tex-Mex my entire life, and then moving to California, you have California Mexican. And then here in Colorado, we have a totally other different kind of Mexican food. So uh, it's just Colorado has got unreal Mexican food. Yeah, it's just but you know same as like New Mexico and Arizona. Like it's all yeah. slightly different depending on where you're at. Yeah. Like I remember when I, the first time I went to Colorado, I underestimated actually in, in relatively close to every every you know other parts of the country how close Colorado actually is to Mexico. Mm-hmm. Like the yeah. border's not yeah, incredibly well, far. Yeah, the New Mexico, New Mexico and Colorado. Um, the, we're like the green chili state uh, yeah. area. So like everything, especially Mexican, is all fucking green chili like on everything. And that's kind of like how they define the Mexican Ooh. food here. Rock and roll, coaster thing, ring thing. Oh, that would be cool. That'd be fucking awesome. I would go Disney back. Rumor, rock and roll, roller coaster being uh, just, uh featuring Queen. Yeah. 
right. So my my choice though of cuisine would probably be Creole slash Cuban. Uh, mm. I love uh, any kind like of cigars. Caribbean food. Uh, I love you know Cuban sandwiches, which is a simple way to go. I love garlic chicken, like any kind of oxtail. Like uh, yeah, like any just the weird stuff that's just yeah. different, but just packed full of mm. flavor. Uh, so I, that's probably where I would go. Yeah. Now I'm really fucking hungry. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also lot. like French fries and Belgian waffles. <laughs> I already, already said the French fry joke. So. Oh fuck, I missed it. So thanks for listening. Sorry, I'm 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 fading. My, 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 my brother-in-law brought uh, my brother-in-law my son-in-law brought um, these donuts today I, I can't eat it I, these donuts were fantastic they're most amazing I need a donut right there. now I need a sugar blast but, I, but <laughs> these donut these donuts were like I can't eat another donut after eating this donut they were big I can't donuts finish this and they were fluffy without and eating donut. some fucking food it, yeah, yeah it was just they were amazing yeah. he kept saying how amazing they were and finally he brought us some because all the way out Wake Forest to be where like I like some nan with like my Indian, you know, where like, you just kind of grab it and you know, like oh, uh, non non nan. Speak, speaking of donuts, Chris, did you see the uh, the Super Bowl commercial with Ben Affleck and J Lo? No. Okay, it was it was okay, but like There's an it, email regarding it, this. It's an e- it's a it's a missed fucking opportunity in that uh, like J Lo oh, like, oh. to the the drive through at Duncan. And yeah, that's really uh, ben, funny. Ben's working, you know, and she's like, this is what you mean by you're going to work, <laughs> you know, and like, he's at, but there's some missed opportunities that they should have gotten fucking Casey Affleck to reprise uh, his role from the commercial to be like, I fucking love Duncan. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Yeah. The Ka- had, Casey but, Affleck signing live is hilarious. But he has some, he had some, uh, has he worked since the issue? Didn't he, was he charged with sexual harassment or something like that? Oh, or that's he, right. He I, that. That. I, don't, I don't think he's worked since. Hmm. So just saying. Uh, okay. He's we doing do. a lot of oh. theater. Okay. His Duncan commercial is very funny. <laughs> I, I mean, his uh, Duncan SNL skit is funny. We do have one more email. Uh, okay. This one came in today from Mandy. <laughs> Mandy! Uh, and it says, Happy 200. Uh, it's well, been great, great listening to you. Oh, we actually have... Uh, I'll get to that in a second. We have a uh, birthday cake to play um, too. It's been yes. great listening to the past 200 episodes. I decided to listen to Jack. Scary, I know. Uh, and make ghosts our weekly family show. Huh? After bringing all three episodes, binging, sorry, uh, all three episodes to get current, I can say it's a good show. The only problem, the only, I guess, I think, oh, I think she means problem. Uh, the only problem I have is when Maddie, twelve years old, asks randomly, "What, what?" What's it called when the ghosts go from stuck to heaven? <laughs> Sucked up. Suck off. Yeah. Suck. Uh, suck yeah. off. Suck, suck, suck to suck heaven. Off. Yeah. What's what's yeah, okay. Sorry. Mm, uh, I off. played all I played that off. I don't remember, <laughs> but uh no she'll be listening for it on the next episode. <laughs> yeah, it's uh it's it's funny. It's a funny show. I watched the first season of the British one. Yeah. It's a little it's a little more darker, it's a little more uh it's different. It's got a different tone. I started with that one and then came to the American side. So, um, but it, it's, I think it's harder. It was harder for me to like the couple quicker. I think they made yeah. the, the couple more likable in the American version. Whereas yeah, in the more. British version, you're kind of like, well, they're not, you know, they're not quite lovable right out of the gate, but and um, I, stick- did, I did, I did notice something that the two mm. people of color are the, the dumbest people on the show. <gasps> on the British one. On the British I did one. No, I did yeah. notice. I said. I said, huh? Anyway, yeah. I mean, they purpose. I. They, I mean, they're just the husband and the the girl that's naive or whatever she is. She's. Uh, I just thought that was interesting. I'm just throwing it out there. Countering. Countering. Look at. Look at you. Yeah. Just saying. I noticed it. Yeah. I said, hmm. Hmm. And also, if you guys haven't watched Poker Face. Go watch Poker Face. Oh yeah, yeah, that is that is one of the things that I want. I would to, I would watch that yeah. over Night Shift because it's it's okay. so damn good. All right, Matt, you're in witness protection protection now. Yes, I am. Um, the lights from my desk are really bright, and so after a while, just on my you eyes, it's just like I'm tired, and this is this is me like, hey guys, 
It's the after dark. We're kind of just like making it a little bit more chill. We got a couple more questions to answer. Yeah, we've got yeah, we've got to blow up the Death Star oh, here. Luckily, yeah. luckily I took a nap. Yeah, <laughs> I've got I've gotten to the Jane Seymour episodes of the Kaminsky Method. I was I meant to ask that earlier. If you fucking hot still. Oh, oh so you're still you're still in season two though, right? I, I still got to okay. invite her to be on the show. I can't do that. I even showed my to my, my wife. Hey, I know, you want to see, see Jane Seymour now? Look at this. And she's like, "Damn, she looks good." Good. We, to our utter shock, we did get a review. Oh shit! Thanks to, Sh- thanks to Sherry. Oh, Sherry I hope pushed it's it on uh... Facebook. I, sus- oh, I, I suspect no, this you. review is thank from you. Sherry. Hmm. <laughs> I suspect. It, but we'll see. all right, Matt, get get so drawn. It's Dude, just, let's go. It's just called RCAD Five Stars. The RC R- the RCAD podcast is a favorite part of my week. Oh, it's like no. hanging out with your brothers. Uh, <laughs> love listening to these guys share what's on their mind. Thanks, Jack, Nick, Matt, and Chris for all the laughs over the years and sharing your time and your hearts with us. Oh, Aww. thanks. Aww. Thanks, Sherry. Thanks, Sherry. Thank thanks, Sherry. Sherry. Yeah, thanks, Sherry. <laughs> and again, I, I got to say, uh, my wife and I celebrated our anniversary this last week. I went to Angus Barn. We're not sponsored by Angus Barn. If you're ever in Raleigh, if you, but you have to book it well in advance because the restaurant's always packed. Uh, I had a t- twenty, uh, was it a twenty-four ounce T-bone steak? Oh my! Uh, God. If you said fucking pork chop, I was gonna walk no, out. I, I, <laughs> I, hey, hey, hey! Obviously, you're not listening to two hundred shows. I've said there, I've had the pork chop there, and it sucks. But this, and Cindy always goes, she gets a fillet, and she every time she then she's like a bite of mine. Why did I get what you got? I go, I don't know why. The fillet is the most overrated fucking steak in the face of the planet. I, I and I tell her that all the time. I go, because I, 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 I'll get like the New York strip or something. Like that. But I said New York strips are tough though; they can be. Well, not the way they cook it. They, they just the do perfect a steak is job. a ribeye, in my humble opinion. Well, the, the the waitress did say it's between the ribeye and the uh, T-bone, right. and I said. All right, I had said T-bone from the start because I knew I could take some of it home because it's even better the next day. Oh, that way you're getting a strip plus a plus a yeah. I mean, that's the you guys are missing out on the calf, like because that is about veal. But again, if you're ever in Raleigh, the one restaurant you should go to if you're coming up for the 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 the, the get together. I don't even know what it's happening this year. Right, right. You ever had tube steak? Tube steak boogie. Yeah, you ever had that? That's a good cut. Yeah. Oh, Chris gets it. <laughs> Can we? Anyway, Angus Barn. Yeah, Barnes. this was a great show. <laughs> and this time we're gonna take a commercial break. Wait, what? Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking tube steak. <laughs> <laughs> That's the episode title. Fucking tube steak. <laughs> fucking tube steak. Well, I got. I got really? pause for the commercial. Really? Oh. <laughs> After all that. Yeah. Go on. All right, let's wrap this fucking thing up. Okay. That's all I got, though. Wait, wasn't there another email? No, is it? He he read it. Okay. No. (laughs) I kept thinking that there was another email. I was listening to you, Nick. (laughs) I listened to you, Nick. Well, you guys are clearly on the same survivor race. So amazing race. Survivor race. I don't want you to know my identity because I don't want to be associated with this show anymore. I will only appear in this form. <laughs> See, that's what I was thinking, John. See, Matt's over here in the Witness Protectors program. <laughs> I don't right. know why you're, I come back to this place every time. What? Wrap it up. You're in the mob? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. All right, guys. We, thanks for joining we, us. Thanks for everyone we, in the chat that joined us. Uh, had a great time. This is our 200th episode. Can't wait for 2001. 2001. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Very non-committal, Jack. I appreciate that. I don't like to put myself out there and I, I don't Looking like to, to the next I two more. back up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can do one more episode in the next uh, It'll be called Owen and Brew. <laughs> Owen and Brew. <laughs> Might as well be. I mean, uh, Mando is back. Oh Mando my God, is, is it ever. Did it, did it start already? Yeah, but oh, the yeah. Episode was hyperdrive there. whales and all. Yep. Yeah, that actually was the most exciting thing to me was to see the, the whales on the side. Like, oh, oh, fucking Thrawn! The Thrawn's somewhere. Back, Thrawn's He's back. over there. <laughs> Two hundred and a million. Nice job, bro. Oh so, yeah. Way to yeah. If you want to become a patron, we're still looking for that million dollar patron, someone that mm-hmm. could sponsor yeah. us on our amazing race. 
yeah. around the world. Stop, stop trying to guilt trip me. I mean, we can do it around Raleigh too. I mean, whatever, you know, like it doesn't have to be the world. <laughs> and, and it wouldn't be a big advantage for me living here. <laughs> I don't know. I only have a certain area I go to. I'll do, so, do it in Boston. That would be fun. That would be fucking hilarious. Yeah, asking people from Boston directions. Yeah, Fuck off! Out of Boston. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I think okay. we have to go to the fork in the road, guys. <laughs> fuck fork. Okay. Anyway, this was a great show. It was it was one in two hundred million. The we'll see yet. you next week. No, you it's not one in two hundred. It's two hundred in a million. Not one in two hundred million. One in two hundred million is literally two hundred plus or two hundred x greater than it was originally. I told there'd be no math. I've, so, I've blacked out my face so I can just remove myself. Matt, did, it, did it frustrate you at the end when you're trying to get the thing done and people just kept interrupting you? Yeah, yeah. It was so okay. frustrating. I, In I fact, just I, I just was like, fuck this. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> well, because I, 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 I got called out because I didn't put the time and the day and time on the – when I put out the message. I did like 1.30. But, it, you know, if you subscribe to the show and hit the little bell – you don't even need me to put a little reminder hey, when we're doing you the show. Shit for it, it. it will tell you when the show is going to be on. So there. So there you go. Up. Subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe. To, we're at still at 108. Been at 108 forever. But at this time, we're going to thank Eckhart Richter, Gloppler, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with the plan, and Ed the creepy, poopy, crazy letter carrier. Thanks for what you do, and thanks for everyone who listens to us. And that's all I got. Hasta luego, and goodbye. See you next week. See ya. I'm really enthusiastic, but that's okay.